Uh, 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 with the brothers out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. Back with another camp. Uh, the prophesied the downfall of America and the prophesied uh, the words of Yahweh Bashi Yahushai. Before we get started, we'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashi Yahushai Bashi Yahushai. Double honor to our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. I want to say peace, safety, much love, and blessings to the occupants across the four, four corners of the earth. Pushing out this truth, the truth and sincerity, and putting the lives on the line to do so. Shalom on to you, brothers. All right. So we're gonna open up, man, you know, with the hot topic. You know, uh, this bombing that just happened in Israel. You know, things are getting uh, real, man. All right. And we come in week in, week out, and we keep saying these things, and it seems like we're beating the dead horse. But hey, we're on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's time. Yep. All right. We're just uh, the mouthpieces. Yep. All right. We watch and see what happened in the news, and we come out and uh, uh, protect it to the masses. Uh, uh, mainly our people, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I right, put you up on game, telling you what's going on. All right. So you may look at these different events and just see, oh man, it's another uh, war right. going on in right. the Middle East. Right. All right. But it's a bigger picture to that, man. All these things that are happening in the earth are leading up to the big shebang, man. All right. Which America is going to be destroyed at the end story. All right. Three 
screams and all that. Right. Niggas playing around with the CB19. Yep. Thinking it was a joke. All right. Niggas making rap songs about it. Yep. All right. Because these people don't believe uh, uh, that a black cow will get white milk. All right. You got to show their ass. And the Lord is definitely going to show them that. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how do you measure? All right. You have to use the signs. You have to use the news that is taking place. All right, and we all know the news sells us some bullshit too. All right, that's right. why it's important to pick the meat from the bone. All right, and, and, and be well versed in prophecy. So you know, nah, we got it. Oh no, nah, this right here. See, this is this is what we need to see. Right, and this is where it's getting the ball rolling. All right, go ahead, because we know the media. It's just what it is, man. The media. They try to Right. Uh, we know his wicked and evil thoughts. Alright? So we can sift through the bullshit. I have forgot the real. Go ahead. So, thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Uh huh. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, so we have understanding that when these things take place, alright, like these wars and rumors of wars, alright, and we're going to touch on here in a second. When we know these things are taking place, we well understand that it's time for the Yahweh Yahushai and his angels all right, to visit the earth. Alright, go ahead. This is therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and the uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right. Well, they've been saying the end of the world is going to happen the last 50 years. Alright, motherfuckers, keep waiting. All right, because the Lord is a man that he shall not lie. All right, and although it tarry, what the scripture say? Wait for it. All right, so we're being patient and waiting because we know. That's how you get them up on the on the heels too. All right, you 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 inch it. All right, you inch it on them. All right, so then when it really the real thing comes, motherfuckers be caught off guard because they think the Lord is out here pump faking. All right, and he gonna take the shot on these niggas, man. All right, when you least expect. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Uh -huh. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yeah. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Yeah. So Right, right. We gotta go through it. 
I can't just skip all the hearts and get straight to the kingdom of heaven. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, but the end is not yet. And this is just the, uh, the opening credits, you know? No, nah, this ain't even the opening credits. This is the preview. All right. All right. It's, it's the preview. Go ahead. Good. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. So this is the beginning of sorrow, like I spoke of, man. Right? The Lord ain't even opened up the credits yet, man. Right? He ain't even showed the button. Right? It's just, hey, you know how you go in the movie, you sit down, get your popcorn and shit. Right. They show you shit that's coming soon. Yep. You know, that's all the Lord is doing right now. He's giving you uh, uh, the, the opening uh, uh, previews of the movies that's coming out, man. Hey, and what's that supposed to be? destruction of America, man, all right, which is Babylon the Great, all right, that's written up in the scriptures, and the virgin daughter of Babylon, right. and this bitch is going to get touched, man, it's right. going to be no, no, no called tender and devil, you know? right. and the virgin can hold that to uh, finish that out with me, that was it on that, all right, what else you call it, oh, 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 oh the article, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro, and then it says, Israel says it is at war after a boss surprise attack. Uh. Because this is nothing new. It's been a uh, uh, little proxy war going on between Hamas and Israel. All right? But the prime minister said, no, nah, this time this is different. All right? What prime say, oh, this person. Why? Why? Right, yeah, yeah. That's what that's going to be. When yeah. The Lord opened up on this place. 200, that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, only 200 people died. Right. They were saying that during COVID. You right. know, they had to take her on the screen. Uh -huh. Oh, only, only 500,000 died. Only 500. Uh, yeah. 550 right. people died. They only. So imagine how it's going to be, man. Right. Go ahead. Exactly. Is that I was just about to say, yep. So Facts. That's big that news. Why? Why? This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Babylon and his purposes, that he had purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Yep. Continuing on. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely the 
these other flocks that are drawing them out. So all these little proxy wars, man, that don't seem like really, really major players in the, in the, in the uh, World War III, like the War of Armageddon, uh, hey, it's leading up to something, man. Right. These other flocks should be drawn out first. Go ahead. Continuing on. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Yeah. Mm. It, it may. Yep, he's gonna get hit with missiles like I can say too. That show you that the land of Israel is gonna get hit with missiles as well. Oh yep. yeah, for sure. It says surely. Surely. Why not maybe probably. Right. Surely. It's a definite, man. Yeah. Hey, and the Lord is a man that you should not lie. These things are gonna happen. They're gonna take place. Right. Okay, uh I continue on verse 46. At the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moving. And the cry is heard among the nations. Yeah, everybody gonna see this, man. I just like Revelation 18, uh, when they gonna watch from afar off, yeah. and it's in America, and there's a Yeah. Uh, all the virtues are going to meet their ability, man, because this board that they've been making all the money on this shit is going down the river. Man. Yeah. Yeah, the cash cow is gonna be slaughtered back then. The niggas is gonna be sick when they sit there for uh, one hour, man. It's great kingdom, all right? The so-called great kingdom. Right, right, right. That these other nations look up to and, and drool over right. is going to be fucking totally destroyed, man, in one hour. And they're going to sit back and watch America be destroyed, all right? Or will it be sit, you know, in the chariots, man? Don't yeah. Go up and watch this piece. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. And that's speaking about the natural Gentiles in this particular scripture. Continuing on, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Mm. Let them come up. Verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Yeah. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, so all these tools that, are, that were uh, agricultural tools, agricultural tools. Right. Hey, the Lord is using it as, as an analogy to say that these things are going to be used as tools of war at some point, man. And that's why the Lord put it on, on, on these Edomite spirits, man, uh, and uh, the smith that pulled the coals to create these weapons of war, such as the missiles that's going to be shot at these silos, man, on America. Right. right? And, and once they shot off, man, there ain't going to be no returning. Right, right. right. None are going to want they mate. Right? Everything is going to be in perfect order, man, when it comes over here to be shot off on America. All right? They're not going to they hit one another. Right. Right? They're not going to turn back. Right? They're going to hit their target, man. We, Go ahead, bro. Yep, continuing on. This is Joel, chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, yep. and gather yourselves together round about, tither, cause thy mighty was to come down, O Lord. Yep. Verse 12. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shepard, yep. for there will I sit to judge all the heathen yep. round about. Verse 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Well, hey, okay, real quick, because it says, hey, it's, it's talking about the, the least of them, all right? The, 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 the heathen, all right? Because they're going to turn on America, too. Even America, that uh, 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 our so called American allies, yeah. all right? They right. don't realize that they've been going to go on the blocks for the wine of, of this horde that's sitting up upon the beast that he speaks of in, in Revelation. that dwelleth in the place of the rock, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yep. Yeah, hey, right now, that's how you know that's a future prophecy. All right? Because America is not small among the heathen. This Edomite ran country is, is, is boasted as one of the greatest uh, countries in, in, in the world, man. I, as, as a, having the greatest military uh, presence in the world. I, but at some point, that whole narrative is going to change. And America is going to be looked down upon, man. I, we already said it. These other nations were not scared of big, bad America anymore. I, they got just as much uh, uh, artillery right. they feel they can use even better than America. And the things that they don't have as, as, as good, they think that they can still fuck with America. Right. All right? 
Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 6. Uh -huh. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a touching proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid himself with thick clay. Yep. And that thick clay in the Hebrew is a white yacht which goes, which goes to heavy depth. And we see how America is in heavy depth right now. You look at the depth legislation in depth over 30 trillion dollars, man. Right. You don't think these are collecting all that bread? America just keep running up the same. You can't just keep running up the town. It's the same thing. Uh, how, how the Lord looks at America when it comes to touching his uh, apple of the eye, man, which is Israel. The tab is running long, uh, all right? and it's time for the Lord to go ahead and uh, cash in on that. No, go ahead. Continuing on, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and the weight that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast formed many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Yeah, bro. You think uh, these other countries don't forgot what America did to them back in the early uh, 1900s? Uh, what they did to them back in the, uh, uh, the late 1800s? Like they just uh, forgot about it? No, nah, it's motherfuckers that still raising their, uh, their seeds up to hate uh, Americans. Eventually, they started to uh, creep back into that position, man. 
And see, these devils ain't, ain't the type that just, uh, uh, you know, once, once they in a position and they just all, you know, they're going to leave everybody else at the bottom. Edomite, just like all nations, the, the top of the nations have ruling class mentalities, man. Yeah. They want their nation to rule. That's ultimately in every nation's spirit. When you go to the 18 nation, every nation wants their nation to rule. That's just the psychology and the spirit that the most high place within all nations. And within everything, to be honest, lions want their lot, they want their, their, their uh, um, right. territory. Hyenas want to rule, you know, gazelles want, you know, everything wants to rule. It's all about uh, rulership. Right, right. Nobody want to be in the bottom of And that's why the constant fight to go to the top comes with a whole bunch of hardship and bloodshed. All right? That's why. Um, that's why us as being uh, Israelites, hey, we want to be on the top, man. That's why we read in, in, in uh, Matthew 24, hey, that all these things must take place. All right? But in order for us to get in the world, all right, because of the offenses that we uh, committed against you, how about shooting outside, we shot away from you. Right? Uh -huh. We've been put in this state of, of loneliness for a reason, concerned by the punishment. Man, hey, we want our, we want our seat. The Israel to be in ruling class mentality. Uh, I mean, in rulership positions. All right, but we have to wait out our sentence, man. All right, wait till this gets be destroyed, which we're going into, man, with these terminal nuclear missiles. Right. All right. But until then, we have to wait and hold fast and let the Lord do his, do what He's doing, man. Yeah. And then, um, e e extol us. All right. Go ahead. Okay, I get some lamentation. This is lamentation. Lamentations, chapter four, verse twenty-one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Verse 2. Yep. Hey, because the nakedness of, 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 of America has already been revealed. If you get, uh, get it in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5th uh, chapter. So, five it yeah, tells you damn. that uh, he that he that will let will let to the man of uh, sin and rebellion find it in this verse. Yeah, second Thessalonians. Verse twenty, verse twenty-two. This lamentation chapter four, verse twenty-two. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee Set. away into captivity. This is Lamentation chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yep. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Hey, and that's what we wait on, man, for our sentence, for our sentence to be uh, 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 up, you know, and us become ruling class, ruling class, right. uh, uh, a nation, man, and have these heathens underneath us, man, right, following. Our law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father gave it to us, all right, in their rightful uh, uh, positions and in their lands, all right, under our leadership, under our laws, you know. But until then, the Lord has to expose us, like I said, you know. Okay, this is Lamentation chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Yeah, hey, so the Edomites are going to be destroyed, man. And then Jacob's going to uh, rise up, man. That's the symbolic of uh, uh, Jacob grabbing the hill of Esau, man. All right? When he's taken down, and we're going to be set up for one you know? Uh, you get a uh, second Uh, you don't want to come up and, and, and 
get out of this place and depart from this is not your rest. This is not talking physical, man. It's talking mentally. Get your ass out of America because there's nothing good that's going to happen or come to this place in the near future, man. All right? Go ahead. Yeah, just back on your point. This is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Uh -huh. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, mm. but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yep, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right, that's why we come out here and do the work for your high boss and our shot and warn our people that are going to come in destruction, man, because we want to be uh, exempt, man. We don't want to be included in what the Lord has for this place, you know. Uh, get Isaiah uh, 13, 13, all right, because if you're joining hand in hand with this devil, all right, you reap the same uh, uh, punishment, man, you know. God's going to go Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Go ahead. And everyone that is joined unto them. Everyone that is joined unto them. Yeah. Uh, evil, uh, bloody society, which you call America. I uh, which you know in the scriptures is Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Shall fall by the sword. You shall fall, fall by the sword as well, man. Verse 7. Then mm -hmm. answered I and said, What shall be the part and the southern of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's head held first the hill of Esau. Uh -huh. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. For Esau is the end of the world. Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yeah, Jacob is the and the only way that transition is going to be able to take place, man, is, is through uh, uh, bloodshed. Right. Through wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. Right. Like we opened up talking about the, uh, the, 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 the bombing that just happened in the land of Israel. All right. These, all these small little proxy wars are leading up uh, to the big shebang, man, which yeah. is World War Three, where America will be destroyed. All right. And won't be inhabited. Yeah. All right. So, but in order for that to take place, which we just read in Sacred Ezra 6 and 9, all right, Esau being the end of the world, he has to be destroyed because this devil is not just going to give up his place of, of rulership, man. Like, all right, shit, my, son, my time is over. Here you go, Israelites. It's yours. All right? That's not going to happen, man. This is going to be through uh, a whole bunch of lamentation and woes, man. All right? When, it, when the Lord come back to visit the earth, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be ugly, man. Contrary to what uh, the ma the masses of the people believe, man, all right, it's gonna be a day of uh, darkness and not light, all right. The, the, a day of thick clouds and gloominess, all right. Which is reason, uh, I think that's Lamentation, the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Zephaniah one. Zephaniah one. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yeah, just going to right? you say he's not gonna really give it up. Uh, this is Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse seven. For there shall be in every place. And the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Verse 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Well, yeah, so even until that day, man, if you were a righteous believer, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Esau is going to be out for your head, man. All right? He's not going to just, all right, you know, you follow the law, that's the man made all right, this year. Alright, no, this devil's gonna stand up and fight, man. Alright, down to the last drop of blood that he has in his in his wicked ass soul, man. You know. And this is another example of how we know he's not gonna step down with it. Alright, we don't. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So the inward thought of this devil is that his house shall live for forever. Alright, he don't think that this gonna end. Look at it, man. Just look at the, uh, the observation around you. This devil is building something new every fucking week. All right? And it seems yeah. like it's a brand new building in downtown or midtown Atlanta every fucking three months, man. 
this devil is continuing to build and build because he don't believe that this shit is going to end. Bro, Joe, go ahead. Go ahead. It says, and their dwelling places to all generations. They think that they're going to be able to leave history and fill to, 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 to uh, their great, 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 great grandchildren, man. All right? But the Lord is going to put a stop to this shit. All right, they think they Jimmy Carter Boulevard. It's gonna be passed down to Jimmy Carter Jr. the fifth. All right, right. And they think that this is how America is gonna go. All right, that's why they name their lands after themselves. Right, all right. right, right. They don't think it's gonna be destroyed. All right, and, and they put so much sweat, blood, and tears in, in the heaven in this way that they're gonna fight for it, man. Ain't nobody just gonna lay down, uh, you know, a uh, society that they've been building for over 200, 300 plus years, man. All right, just because we said it, you know, right. oh, this devil's going to happen. He's going to stand and fight. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we're going to fight back, man. You know, and ultimately we come out with victory, you know. Go ahead, man. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, yeah. and ye that dwell in them. Uh -huh. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Yeah, and that's the key. He knoweth that he had but a short time, but the pride in him that is lifted up and the great of time won't let the guy admit it, all right? That's why, you know, when he falls, it's going to be the greatest fall in, yeah. in the history, man, all right? This last hurrah between Israel and the Edomites and all these other heathens, we always name Esau even because he's the top heathen. Hey, but you other uh, heathens that came up against Israel, Israel is not exempt, man. How you going? So like you meet the same thing. Right. right. Go ahead. That was it. Says, uh, oh. Hold on. 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 Hold uh, they call their lands after their own name. Yeah, they call their lands after their own name. All right, Jimmy Carter Boulevard, Third Road Marshall Avenue. You know. Jimmy Crow. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh, Jim Crow. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You name it, bro. All this shit is named after the Edomites. And right. And Jake and uh, Martin Luther King in the hood. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, the worst street in every city. Donald Lee Hollowell <laughs> on the west side of Atlanta. Right. You know. Marcus Boulevard, probably uh, stricken area right. that they know is gonna be destroyed. And they were cooling out. Be, yeah, that's gonna be the first area to get fucked up. When niggas dwell on right. Martin Luther King Boulevard. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jose Williams uh, <laughs> over on the east side. You know? <laughs> right. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yep. God, this is Job chapter 20, verse 22. Uh -huh. In the fullness of his sufficiency. Yep, in he, the fullness of his sufficiency. Right when he saw he don't think he's about to establish his new world order. Alright? Uh 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 C H I P D Leap. You know, everything that he has on his agenda. Alright. Go ahead. He shall be in straits. Uh-huh. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Go ahead. Verse 23. Go ahead. God. Verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly. Yep. When he's about to fill his belly. All right. He's got everybody lined up to uh, to receive that mark. All right. He's, he's established the things in which he has set on the uh, Georgia Guidestone, uh, depopulation of the earth, uh, so on and so forth, just when you think he's about to accomplish all that. Go ahead. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. The Lord is going to cast the fury of his wrath upon him. All right. And how is he going to do that, man? By way of the laser beams from the chariots, by way of the thermonuclear missiles, all right, that's going to be shot upon this place. That's yeah. how the Lord is, is, is going to repay Esau for all the wickedness that he's done upon the face of the earth. Man. Right. His plan's going to be interrupted. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, it's going to be 
is going to be destroyed and interrupted, man, by these uh, ICBM nuclear missiles. Go ahead. It shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And the Lord is going to rain it upon him while he's eating, man. All right? And we will sit down and eat and get the body to get That's a state of possibility. All right? And that's another thing that's going to catch our people off guard. Because they're going to be sitting down ready to eat right with uh, so far, white man, yeah. and the Lord's gonna come down and break through the man and rain them on their ass while they're eating. Yeah. All right? That's the last thing you think gonna happen to you. Something crazy when you got your nice steak, you know, you know, right. you got them seared it to perfection. Yeah. All right, you got your uh, asparagus on the side, nice glass of wine. Like the nap. Yeah, yeah, you know, open, open up the handkerchief and right. say it out all nice. Right. You about to get busy. And then the motherfucker just come in and hit you with a goddamn. Oh, yeah. Right. That's how the Lord's gonna come. Yeah. So you better bite for that state. Right. That's how the Lord's gonna come in with these Christians. Right. Right. Go ahead. Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon. Yep. And the ball of steel shall strike him through. Yeah, that weapon, man. It's gonna send it. It rained in the punch. This devil why he is eating that. Ooh. is to gather the nations that I, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my first anger. Yep. Yep. All the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, hey, the whole earth shall be devoured with the fire of the Lord's jealousy, man. I right, also going to use this man in order to get this mission accomplished, man. Yep. The Lord willing we be those men. Yep. All right, so yep. I'm going to step down Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, yeah. nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Yeah, because brother, uh, the opposite of the rock, uh, we were just speaking of, of the, uh, the death that's going to take place here in America, that's right, right in the world. You know, with Yahweh shall return with his chariots, it's spoken of in Daniel, the seventh chapter, about how his thousands and thousands of them. Uh, Yahweh Shah, you know, he's coming with the vengeance. Yep. All right. But after that, you know, the Lord, you know, he's going he's to heal uh, the nation of Israel, man. All right. He's going to heal and replenish and put back out into the earth the nation, the nation of Israel, which are you so called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. All right. So could you read that again about the shot? Sorry. Revelation 21 4. And Yahweh shall wipe. Yahweh shot shall wipe away all tears from what, their eyes. What tears are, are you wiping away, man? Those tears of the curses being upon us, the smoking up and uh, the right. Right. You know about you know how our family's going to be taken away from us. We're going to work because all day and night. Right. No, no, uh, no income. All right. Right. The, the you know, chairs. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah discontinued. Yeah. Like heritage, Lost our language. Yeah. Yeah, the heritage, our language being discontinued and taken away from us. All of those are tears that we're crying to this very day. All right. All right but after those missiles hit, you know, after you know, uh, the house shall return, the Lord's gonna wipe those tears away, man. All right, you got it. It says, and there shall be no more death, neither the sorrow. It says there should be no more death. Need the sorrows, man. So the Lord's gonna take place, uh, death out of the earth, man. You know, so the Lord's gonna take, uh, you know, the death away from this place, man. It's just a huge burden that every each and every one of us think of every day, man. All right. Number one, mainly because we have the fear of Yahweh watching Yahweh shot, right. and we understand His power. Right. You know that the Lord can take our life in the instant, man. All right. So a man of the Lord being circumspect and watching you know, our surroundings, we, 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 we really walk on edge. You know, because we have that fear of Yahweh watching Yahweh shot that the, the mass of the people don't, man. Yeah. All right. So Proverbs 1 and 7 says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is the beginning of knowledge. That's right, it says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is the beginning of knowledge, man. So the Lord instilled his fear within us, and then we started to learn the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. All right, yeah. so we can walk accordingly, man. You know, and not, you know, calling ourselves, you know, an Israelite, you know, but then committing adultery. Right. You know, we're not or calling ourselves an Israelite and saying it's okay, you know, to uh, put the sea here within us, man. Right. Right. All right. Because we all fear that, man. We pray to the Lord to not allow us to take that in that day, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Lord put His fear within us, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You got it. It says, "But fools despise wisdom See, and instruction." But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And why is that? Because they don't have the fear. Right. All right, they don't think that the, the Lord will put them to death, man. All right. Right. They don't. They don't understand the power that uh, Yahweh has, man. Right. All right. The, he, he, the Lord opened up the earth. You know. Right. He flooded the earth. What they say, Amos? He, they said that he'd neither do good nor evil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Good nor evil. If a brother can uh, uh, grab that too, you know you got the Yeah. Lord, let the, hey, it's all throughout the scriptures now. I, Lord showed his power, man. He split the Red Sea. You know, right, the plague, right. Control, complete control, man. The plagues that was put on Egypt. And all, and, and all these things are coming back, man. Right, right. right. All right, so our fear, our fear is even, is even more now, man. Seeing the, the days and the times that we're in, man. All right. Book Isaiah, the 33rd chapter 6 verse. And the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh what is his treasure? That's right, man. It says the fear of Yahweh Shemayal Shai is his treasure, man. All right? So with us having that fear, we're getting that wisdom and understanding in order to be stabilized in that day, man. All right? In order for our feet to be grounded. All right? In order for the Lord to, uh, you know, protect us and, and, and uh, the brothers, Lord willing, you know, who you see out in front of you this very day, man. All right? So we're gaining our fear, man, each and every day. And like the brother, uh, the officer of Rock, went into what's going on in Israel. You know, that should put fear within you, man. You know, why is that? Because those same things are coming here to America, man. Right. Babylon the Great. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, back in Revelation 21, verse 4. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow, nor, uh, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. It says, for the former things are passed away, man. All right, so it's gonna be a whole new way of living, man. All right, a whole new, uh, a whole new way of, of, of us waking up in the morning. Right. All right, or us feeding our, our, us and our families, man. Of working, of money, everything is just gonna be completely. Refreshing, yeah, it's just it's damn near, it's damn near unexplainable. Yeah, you can't, can't, even, like, can't really explain it. Yeah, right, right, right. That's, that's <laughs> the amount of power that he has to where we can't even fathom how, how life is going to be, man. That's why it's faith, it's just faith. faith. Yeah, yeah, it's faith in that, it's faith in that, you know.
every day and just you know going through that same old routine you know that, that that's 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 going to be done away with right very very soon man. You got to continuation that the mountain of your house house should be established in the top of the mountain the word mountain is going into the government man. the government so the lord is going to establish his government over all other governments man right all right you're not going to have edomite rulers you know and edomite presidents uh, having authority over you, man. Yeah. The earth is going to be ruled in righteousness, all right, and not wickedness, and not confusion. All right. Okay, you guys. And it shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And all nations going to flow into Yahweh and Yahweh government, man. All right? Because when you go into the word government, it, will, it means what? To rule your defense. All right? So these, these devils. You know they don't have they don't have the all right but the lord is going uh like the book of deuteronomy 30 and chapter coaches and belief system and what you're going into is a is an absolutely hell no <laughs> because as you see they had their opportunities they ruled it according to their own thought process right. and Indeed. they failed miserably they, they right. failed horrible they yeah. failed horrible yeah. so why would we have respect on how you live your lives right that's why in isaiah like you said isaiah the second chapter i believe says what that they all shall um Love. flow unto jacob right and learn right. our ways right because the, we were the only ones that was given the proper way of doing exactly. this yeah. starting with our forefathers abraham yeah. isaac and jacob which right. the blessing went to right yeah. if, if 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 that was the case if we would have respect for these other you know nations rulers it, we would be okay with just walking around molds yeah. Right. You know, right. It's just, just having them. Right. You know, just well with us. You know, you know that weird shit. Yeah, eating yeah, yeah. weird, abominable food. Right. right, right. You know, adultery being okay. Right. Right. Shit, we that's how we messed up anyway. Cause what we we, we we envy we envy the heathen. Yep. That's shit. We respect. Yeah, too much respect. Yeah, too much respect. Yeah, this right on point. Right. Deuteronomy, chapter four, verse five says, "Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments." Even as the Lord, Yahweh, my, my power, commanded me yeah. that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Mm -hmm. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding right. in the sight of the nations. In the sight of the nations. And did, and did the nation of Israel do this? No. Right. Hence, that, this is what you have to this, this very day, man. Complete confusion, man. Right. All right, because the nation of Israel didn't abide by the law, statutes, and commandments that was written in this book, man. All right? Starting with the, the, the Ten Commandments, man. All right? Those Ten Commandments uh, really rules and the, uh, authority, uh, the authority of how the earth should be ran, man. All right? You got it. It says, What shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. See, this, this, the, the law, statutes, and commandments Oh, all right. And you can see that when you go amongst the brothers, all right. And people see how we, how we, uh, you know, our deal and how we uh, are amongst each other. You know, they see that we are great. We are great people, man. We're brotherly. You know, we show love to not only us, but people who we deal with, man. All right. So that's supposed to be how the whole earth is supposed to be, man. All right. But th and this is what the Lord is about to reestablish, man. All right. Words that's written in this book are going to be actual life, man. All right, from the time you wake up to the time you fall back to sleep, man. All right. The whole thing. Touch on something that you said, just to add some point, because we said um, about how we deal with other people through the scriptures, right? The instruction tells us if it was po possible, uh, we, uh, we, uh, have peace with your enemies, yeah. right? If it's possible. Uh, 
Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 8 says he will swallow up death in victory and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from all from off all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth from the Lord has spoken it. Why? Right. The Lord is going to take the rebuke of his people away from all the earth because Israel is going to be in rulership, man. All right? Places and not ruling over us. All right, these are the things that's to come, man. So if you if you're in the right state of mind, you 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 you're ready for these things to happen. Yeah, right. All right. This is the book of the Psalms, book 149, verse six, verse five. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. And the saints are, are the Israelites. Verse 8, verse 8, ask of me, and I shall give 
be the heathen for thine inheritance. Now, this is speaking about Yahweh Shai, but we can like link this up with Romans, the 8th chapter, the 16th verse. that says what? That we're joint heirs with Yahweh yeah. Shai. Yeah. So I ask him, the Lord is saying, read it again. Psalms 2 and 8, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen. Yeah, these heathens. So the Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is going to have slaves. Right. Right. And we're going to have slaves because we're joint heirs with him. That's right. right. So that's why I said that. That's the problem with our fucking people, man. Y'all yeah. have a, y'all respect everybody's culture and, 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 and religion. And, right. Except yours. They don't and they don't even respect us. Yeah. And then they just walk up and down the earth being, being animals. Yeah. They're literally animals on two feet. Right, right. Yeah. What they eat, how they, how they deal. And, and you, we're supposed to have respect towards this shit, man. Fuck right. these heathens. That's right. 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 Yeah. It's death. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 You know what it's going to be? There's a word for that. They were talking about it on the TV this morning. We've all heard of uh, of uh, urban urban deserts, right? Well, these fools and how they do it in our communities is called an urban urban swamp. Basically, because of all the shit in these communities are so toxic, it's, it's, a, it's a swamp. Right. The Krispy Kremes and the liquor stores and McDonald's and chicken. All that shit is just poison. So that's how they feel. Right. That's, right. They poison us, so we supposed to have respect to them? No, right. we're gonna right. be on your ass, right? Man, if you think it, we gonna beat ass. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. It don't even matter if you yeah. do it, we right. gonna beat your ass. That's man. right. It ain't no coincidence that it's not a, a old group. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. That's not a coincidence, man. You know, the, he, these heathens do that on purpose, man. Oh, well, Deacon uh, uh, knows this well. We, he speaks on this a lot of times, too. The first thing that these which these little hats, they trying to play the victim right now in the world. Yeah. Right, 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 right. The, one of the things that they do to uh, make the men of the other Palestinian weak is they threw porn out there. Oh, they just literally yeah. threw, they were public, publications of porn just floating in the streets. Who were the main characters behind that? Them. Yeah. Right. The small right. hats. Everything that's evil on the earth is the small hats. Right. They invest in. Are we supposed to have respect on these people? No. Man, when we get our hands and our feet on their ass, be, just read the scripture, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep it kosher on the camera, man. Okay, go on. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. That's what we want, man. These these white women, they walk by us, and they clutch their pearls, and they clutch their bags. Yeah, lock their door. They lock their door. We want you. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want your items. Right. Right. <laughs> we don't right. want your price. Right. Right. The Lord though, giving them over to us, man. Come on. Right. So the yeah. Lord though, it, it's a possession. Yeah. It's right. possession. They're, they're possessions, man. Dominance. All right. It, it's like when you see when you see him, like every the first, uh, he, he should be a slave. Yeah, right. He's a he's a he's a uh, a vagabond slave. Yeah. Right. He's a wandering guy, man. He's a furrow a furrow. <laughs> he, he's supposed to have them yeah. under our under our thumb <laughs> doing whatever that he should do. Nothing to mess it. He shouldn't do nothing right. unless we jump on you. Right, right, right. God right. in everyday life, man, it, it, it's, it's nothing but complete wickedness. Right. It's probably a mole. Right, you know, right. Like children. Like children. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but those, those things are going to be done away with, man. <laughs> that's why That's why King Solomon said that everything was bad. They advantage you, yeah. Fake station of spirit. All right? If it, that's why you know we're in the right state of mind, man. And we ready for this place to be destroyed. Right. All right, All right. we sick and tired of these heathens, man. Yep. To be having to dwell with them and work with them each and every day, man. Gotta All fake right. it. Yeah. yeah. Gotta bite our tongue. They stink. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, bro. It says, it says, in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's where it's Amos, the, um, the ninth chapter, right? Where it speaks about uh, the Esau's land, man. Yeah. All of y'all stuff is ours. Yeah. That's what y'all don't get, and you're gonna learn the hard way. Yeah. That's why, hey, what's going on over in the land of the little hats? Hey, that's a little preview of what's to come here, man. Right. Revelation, the 18th chapter says, right. that you heathens of, of far are gonna be our last, our last, that great city. Yep. 
you to witness this place fall. And when it falls, oh man, that new Jerusalem, Lord willing, we a part of it. Yeah. It's gonna descend down. Yeah. And it's just gonna be foot on your neck. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. gonna be perpetual foot of ass. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is not far fetched. Y'all, y'all think what we're saying is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they they just they just turn, they just click X, go to the next video. Yeah. Uh. Even though, like Master Musa, he was the richest man on the planet, but hundred years later, his his his, his descendants went into slavery. Yeah, come on. Who just translate to that trade? Big hand, four hundred billion. Y'all going to slavery? Yeah, all right. Yeah. So now it's done. It shall be. This is the Book of Psalms, one forty-seven and verse five. Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Yeah. Yahweh lifted up the meek, and he caused the wicked to be part of the front. And he casted the wicked down to the ground. See, that's the, that's a role reversal, man. Ooh. The Lord lifted up the meek and caused his what? He casted the wicked down to the ground. He casted the wicked down to the ground. That's that's these heathens being brought down to a low estate, man. Alright? So you better enjoy it while you can, man. Oh yeah. Ship it up. Alright? Run the credit cards up. Go on the go on the big big boy yacht cruises. Because the Lord is about to is about to bring a role reversal, man. Alright, we ain't gonna he's not gonna keep us in this position forever, man. Right. Alright, like the officer the rock bought out that that thing that thing they go, uh their houses shall continue Take forever. forever. Yep. You know? I ain't gonna lie, when I first came into the truth and I always you see, you know, he's always building and construction. Yeah. You know, it, it be like, man, how but now, as you can see, you know, as the times fast forward, and how, and how you see uh, Esau's, Esau's society being brought down, right. you can see it clear as day, man. Right. Right, right. You're right, though, because the naked, yeah. to those that are outside, like, man, you know, man, this shit, yeah, too. He, it's it, too. They yeah, living it up. And that's why, that's why the brother Yakov brought out Isaiah 33, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Yeah. That, that stabilizes us, man. Right. Having, having the, the knowledge of this book, man. Yep. Being able to see, being able to see and have their eyes, their eyes out, yep. you know, that stabilizes us and keeps us grounded into, into uh, first and foremost, into prophecy and what's going on in the world, man. Yep. Right, so, yeah. You know, I got something for you real quick, brother. This is uh, Malachi 1 and 4, and it says, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. But I will throw it man. down. Let's say the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, man. They should build, but the Lord's gonna throw down, man. Everything that you that you built starting during the Renaissance period, the Lord's gonna bring down, man. That's right. All right. All of your statues and your plaques and your your rewards that you try to put for, you know, on the on the on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on our people, the Lord's gonna bring it down. All right. He gonna throw it down by way of ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right, and the hands and the hands of the prophets and Yahweh shine the angels, man. With violence, you know, with violence, man. Fury, anger, man. you know, righteous anger, man. Indignation. All right, the Lord is gonna bring all of that down, man. All right, because you're an unrighteous ruler. Because it. it was built in wickedness. Yep. You didn't build this according to righteousness. That's why you are doing your best right now to what? Ban books, yeah. and burn knowledge, yeah. and change the history. And you want to yeah. change what was done because it was done in wickedness. That's why the scripture says so like, yeah, no, Oh, that's why the scripture says in numbers that anything that's built by blood has got to be destroyed right, by blood. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, too. Plus, man, for the Oscar, remember we were talking about the AI shit and how it's, you know, it's making these kids a lot of numbers. They don't even want to read no more. Right. Yeah. These kids don't even read. They're really not. They don't even know. 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 They don't even Trying to uh, figure out how to scroll. <laughs> 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 
They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the borders of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. Forever. Yep. You know, not so that's how you know that even though even though Esau is ruling right now, the Lord still hates him, man. You know, because that's it, it said the Lord got indignation against them forever, man. Not just at, at, at a certain moment of a time in history or in the future, but it, but forever, man. He's the same right. yesterday, today, yesterday. forever. Yeah, the Lord doesn't change. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the book of Job, the 20th chapter, in the 15th verse. He has swallowed down riches. And he shall vomit them up again. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna cough up all those riches to the elect, man. First and foremost to your hour shot, man. Alright, he's gonna cough up all of those riches, man. Alright, you got it. In continuation, God shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass, and the viper's tongue shall slay him. You know, so the Lord, the Lord is gonna take all of those things away from these, these devils, man. Alright? Because you're because you're in authority right now, man. And in the change the change of authority, your possessions get taken as well. Man. Right. Alright, so your land, spoils. your women, Yeah, the spoils. You know, your your land, your women, mm. you know, your uh, your gold, silver, all yeah. of that it, it, it gets taken away from you, man. That's us. That's right. us, man. Yeah. You know, we, we even not even your culture. You know? Like, right, you right. Have to us, right. 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 You gotta speak our language. Yeah, you gotta speak our language. It ain't no more English. Yeah. Shut up, man. Yeah. Neither you have to be white, man. Yeah. Because you tried to hide behind the name, man. White. Right. You know, for ages. Right. For African. You're gonna be, everything's gonna be put in, in true right. uh, righteousness and authority, man. Right. Nah, Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25 it says, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works to the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Hey, the scriptures, the Lord, the Lord told us to hold fast until he come. Alright? So the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have as of right now, the Lord said, just hold on to that until he comes, man. Because that's enough for us to gain salvation. Alright? That's enough that's enough for us to make it onto those journeys. I brought this out, man. Yep. You know? The Lord said, hold fast unto that, man. And let no man take that ground. Right? So then he shall rule them. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, uh, as a vessel uh, of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, yeah. even as you see from my father. See these these devils gotta get broken down, man. That's right, bro. Alright, because they're proud. Alright? They, their, their pride has deceived them, like you said, the old giant, man. Alright, and, and we can see it. They, they, they're, they're, they're a proud man. Alright? But like, like I said before, the, you can clearly see that the, the grip that the devil once had on us as a people and society is gone. No one has respect for the devil. Alright? No one. And it's going to continue to increase, man. As times get worse, the less respect that, that this devil's going to have, man, to where he's broken down to a, 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 a slave. All right? This is the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. And you 
you, your personality, your family okay. are going into captivity, you're going to pick cotton. You're going to do our, 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 our laundry. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have certain nations to do certain things for us, man. Right. Because what else are you going to be doing? Yeah. Right. TikTok stores. Right. Every, every minute, every minute, every second of the day, we're going to be doing it. Productive. Yeah, it's going to be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esau let Jake finesse. Yeah, no, nigga. <laughs> right. 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 That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Right. 
right, maybe right. Whenever, if I can add to your point, whenever you know you a strong or a mighty person, say say you a, uh, a boxer, you know, for instance, and you you undefeated, and you take that first, you get that, that first knockdown, you get humbled. That's just for sure. Yeah. 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 You, know, you take that first knee, whether it's a knockdown or a knee or whatever, you, you get humbled, man. Because uh, you because you realize that you can get touched. Like, right. Uh, Charlo. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking through, man. Knee, but it took that knee like, damn, he got it. <laughs> that's, that's the same thing that these nations did. That he saw is going to be done to, man. All right, when all these nations did that, even their allies turned on and turn on the man, they realized that they about to get destroyed. Right. All that humbleness is going to come to where, oh, they're, they're, they're going to realize that we're meant to be slaves. Right, right, they're yeah. Right, they be put in subjection. Yeah, right, right. 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 Institution. Yeah, they, everything they did, everything they've taken, it's all got to be restored. Right, There's an uh, insurance term called indemnify, and it's to make whole, to make good. And they got to make whole on this. It's a yeah. payment. It's a blood, blood payment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They try to Service of Yahweh by Shimei al because he saw no man. Right, right, right. right? And he still, he still don't show no reverence or respect. That's to it, because he know he got, he got to hide it. Yeah, he got to. You know, so the Lord like, all right, okay. Gosh, I, you say yeah. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such 
as one as thyself. But I will rule thee and set them in order before thine eyes. So the scripture say, uh, but judgment is executed speedily. Exactly. You know, that there are yep. You stay, you stay, what's up? Okay. See, you ain't they, they pushing this energy with uh, UFOs and outer space that's just, you know, so called taking surveillance and things of that nature, but they don't never want to give you the actual clues. And that's the Heavenly Father, like it says, you know, that's the Heavenly Father through his, via his angels that's taking notes on this place, man. You know, it also tells you, uh, what was that, Amos, uh, 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 nine Right, that's how they knew. That's how, yep, that's how we were slated to fail as a nation and, and, and fall as a nation, which is ultimately the prophecy and, 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 and the Heavenly Father bringing us down. But he used these devils uh, uh, to be that witness stick uh, pursuing the Psalm 17 and 13. That's so. Like you were saying, like the battery office corrupts what's going on. These, you look at Babylon, there's certain areas in Babylon that are over there. Certain parts of Babylon, man, it ain't nothing, man. Certain parts of South Carolina, certain parts of North Carolina, oh, certain parts of Mississippi. No land. It's no man's land. It ain't shit. To, it ain't no work. It ain't nothing there. Mm -hmm. So what do they like? What do they gotta do? We're not we're not excusing wickedness, but some women gotta gotta sell their body. Some men gotta do things that are not kosher. They might got a plant, a plant or an industrial center, you know, that, that can only house so many Jake, uh, Jakes, you know, pay $17, $18 an hour. Besides that, they ain't, they ain't got shit there. But we'll get that in our Proverbs. Now, this is Proverbs 15 and 3. It says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Yeah, so the, the Heavenly Father has eyes on, the, on this place, man. You know, it says in every place. That's the chariots, the so-called UFOs, man. You know, beholding, which is to look upon the evil as well as the good, man. So you think that from, from seven, hell, even prior to 1776, when, when this devil through his manifest destiny brought destruction and chance of treachery to these 12 tribes uh, that you see on this chart, the Heavenly Father didn't, didn't uh, know these things or see these things, you know? See, a lot of Jakes be pissed off at the fact that the Lord, because everybody knows the most I knows all sees all. You know, that's why Jake was saying, oh, what would you do if you seen uh, the Lord get beat up in these times? They said, oh, we do the same thing that he he would uh, he did when he seen us getting beat in slavery. You know, which ultimately, well, that was a, a form of a punishment for, for our, our ill doings, man, our ill will. But it says that the Lord, he uh, uh, sees the evil as well as the good. The Lord sees everything. So he sees the <laughs> yeah. The you know? okay. And in due time, that's why he's sending these, like, Brother about that we said about earlier and joke about the labels, man. These other nations is on this, this white man's ass, man. 
first and foremost, because they got resources, all right? They got buying power. They got power, you know? But influence, whether it comes in the, the, the form of economic power, financial power, military power, they got some type of power. And the Lord gave them those those elements of power so that those laborers can, can, can you know, as it is written in Isaiah 14, uh, chapter, have thou become wicked people. So they have that strength enabled to come together and a unified front to take this place down. Uh, I think, can I read this real quick? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Obadiah 1 and 2. And it says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yep. Thou art greatly despised. Yep. Just like you were saying, this devil, he played a, a critical part. And these nations know that his, that's another thing too. These nations ain't stupid, man. You know? Now, of course, they're not. They don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But when it comes to, to, to context tools, you know, critical thinking. They know how life's supposed to be. They know how life's supposed to be and operate, man. You know? They're very tech like like e A lot of these nations, they're really in these the tech markets. So they're, they're very tech. They see how tech, technicalities and certain things lined up. And they see a lot of stuff. Even the, the, the poverty in their, their cities and their countries go back to the so called white man. You know? Well, that's why you have the whole yeah. BRICS thing. Yeah. This BRICS movement that's been going on for really this last decade, building up to what we've seen the last several months, this wasn't just because, you know what, let's, you know what would be a cool thing? And let's, let's, let's form a gang and call us BRICS. That's not what this was. This is a, this is a, this is combating against an, an infrastructure that's been kicking the world's ass. Stealing, robbing, killing. country say, you know what? We'll be better off signing with bricks, signing with these nations that actually can be backed by gold and such other resources. They keep you know, lined up. So that's that's another reason why the war bomb began in World War III is going to break out. Right. Because their beef is Esau is underhandedly the damn devil. Right. He does deception. He's the, get what he knows. he's the master of undercut, man. Yep. Great yep. serpent. The great serpent. When the, the, uh, the banking family we're going to the banking dynasty. They all approach to the world with just undercutting, man. Breaking all the law statutes and commandments of the heavenly father. High tax rates, usury. Uh, I was about to say. Funding both sides of the world. Interest. And the, and the crazy interest rates. Hell, starting that whole banking industry. Even that was that was looking into itself. You know? How they would fund uh, these, 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 these major nations and pretty much make them going back to the, the prophecy in Proverbs, how the, uh, uh, the, the rich rules over the poor and the borrower subject to the lender. Yeah. They started lending out to the, to, the, to the mass majority of these African nations, like you said, these Middle Eastern nations, and they made them pretty much debt slaves, man. With those high interest rates, but they knew they couldn't pay back. Because when they was funding both sides of the war, if, you don't, if I fund the loser, the loser's in debt. If I fund the winner, the winner's in debt. Regardless, both of them are in debt, so I'm pretty much the victor of the of, of the war, man. That's how these devils was playing, man. Oh, you know? if I can say too, just to add to what you're saying, and the loser, they send in their construction companies to rebuild their cities. Yeah. Set up a, a satellite state, 
you know? That's how you, that's how you saw his name is breaking the spines on the earth. Right. Because like you said, it, it's just a track record. See, the thing about Esau is, Esau, that's why, the, that's why Eve and Satan are, are the Kobe Bryant and LeBron, the Kobe Bryant and Shaq and wickedness. <laughs> you know why? Because see, they work, see, the, the black woman is only, the black woman is only deceptive to a simple nigga. Yeah. yeah. That shit that the black woman does only works on simple ass niggas. Yes, the same yeah. thing with Esau. Esau's mastermind and planet, that Got shit only again. works on the simple. Yeah. So once you see, it's like, now this nigga gonna come down, yeah. he, gonna get to the, he gonna get to the uh, free throw line, yeah. he gonna do this dumb ass shit, <laughs> and he gonna do a hook shot, he gonna do it every time. You, you gonna make adjustments. Every time, every time. Esau the master of fundamentals, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Uh, yeah, real quick. Uh, <laughs> see a pattern after a while. That's how we know through, through, yeah. through steps and, and, and measuring the patterns of what this devil and his next, his next move is, man. You know? And we're not the only ones through the Spirit. Now, of course, we got the prophecies and we understand these things clearly through the scriptures, but we're not the only ones that know that this devil is pushing towards a new world. Right. right. Yeah, come on, man. These other nations know that this, this man is, is, is hit, hit with the chip. You know, he's trying to push that chip uh, throughout the map. He's trying to put these people in a deeper slavery through that through that very chip, man. You know, through this technology and this AI. Hell, these other nations are developing the same thing. Trying to convince, AI, AI. The, convince their leadership, the the, uh, the elite of Moab and Ant. Because you know the elite of, Ant, um, of Esau, that's why the scriptures say richer or poor, he going to cause or take this. Yeah. The, the elite, the elite aren't rich. They're a whole nother level of, of wealth. Yeah, that's right. Right. So again, you think they're gonna include these? Nah, you, you, you uh, Arabs. You probably you like, Arab leadership. Nah, you gotta take this chip. Right. And if you a leadership and you worth billions in your own right, and you got a level of army and these different things, you are gonna be like, hold on now. This seems like a double cross here. Right. They're gonna oppose. They're gonna oppose. That's why. That's why the war is gonna break out. Because these elites gonna be like, you know what? We gonna take down these guys. Differences apart. Put the differences aside. Cause it wasn't, a lot of them wasn't feeling each other. Well, like even like Wakanda, they wanted to be shut off to everybody, right. but they want to open up and have the whole fight in Wakanda. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how African you got these African nations, cause they T'Challa. Just because these brick nations are coming together, don't mean they should get along anyway. Yeah. You know, <laughs> India, and China, China. It's just the enemy of my enemy is my friend. friend. That's right. That's right. See, so Russia and China, even Russia and China, they have their differences. They don't align with every single uh, uh, minute and major thing. They have certain things. Hell, even if they took down America, they would fight each other after, you know, after each other after uh, after any damn way, man. You know, that's why the Lord is using these different nations, pretty much to damn near create like a royal rumble. That's it. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. That be real talk. I guess I'll take it. Yeah. But it's saying, watch his blood pray. 
This is our fight right here. Right. This is our fight. Matthew 13 and um 16 real quick and it says but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them so, see that? Just like the honorable said that's that's a unique role for each and every one of us the ability to just prophesy, simply prophesy, man. You know, we don't have to stand out and gather arms. You know, we don't have to, like, you got certain individuals sending out emails, forwarding, forwarding emails and things that nature to come up with, with militias and, you know, uh, buy bug out bags and all these different things. We don't have to do these, these different right. things. The Lord is going to fight for us, man. Right. Which is the ultimate power to fight for us. You know, when these, these men were in tough tires or, or in uh, tough times or in dire straits within the scriptures, <coughs> to come back in these latter times to deliver us over to our uh, kingdom. But this is uh, Joshua 10 and 42. It says, um, and all these kings and their land that Joshua, which we know that the word Joshua in the Hebrew is translated to what? Yahweh Which that was a foreshadowing actually. Because Joshua took down a number of kings and so is Yahweh Shai. Many that crowns. Yep, and like the brother said, you know, Yahweh Shai said, he wore many crowns. He was called, he wore, he, he, there was a, a writing on his vesture, on his chest and on his uh, thigh. It said, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yep. That's because Yahweh Shai is going to take down the multitude of nations. Right. Verse 24. Yeah, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Uh, Joshua 10 and 24. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains, which, hey, man, I'm going to put it to you brothers like this. See, the, 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 the brothers that you see standing forth right now before the nation of Israel, these are the captains, man. Okay? A lot of these brothers, through the spirit and reincarnation, Joshua was, was calling unto them. The 144,000 is not to be glazed over, man. And the Lord is going to make that very well known in the coming times. You know, that's why the apostles and elders been opening up their videos, giving credence to the 144. So the 144 played a pivotal role in, 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 the, in, the, in the, the, the development stages of Israel, man. That's right, that's right. All right, so it says, um, it says, and, and said unto the captains 
of the men of war which went with him come near. Put your feet upon the necks of these kings. Did you say that earlier? Oh. Yep. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. <laughs> yeah, like you said, that's a, that's a foreshadow of Joshua. Yeah. That was like a foreshadow of what's going to come. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So we got the land. We got the, we, we got the land of milk and honey in the book of Joshua. Yeah. 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 You know what, what the thing is? When Moses, Moses brought, you know, brought Yahweh by Shemal Bashai to us as a people, as a nation. Can I read this real quick for what you said? This is because like you said it's heavy. I'm gonna let the scripture speak. It's Revelation 7 and 1. And it says, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds on, on the earth of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor any tree. And I saw an, another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. Yep. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Right, so the, I was going to say this, like the, like the bishop, is, the elders going into the Lord got four angels <laughs> holding oh, back destruction right. in the name of the elect. The elect, the 144. Yeah. Hey, because just because you are the elect don't mean that you a servant of the Yahweh Bashim Okay? Yeah, right, right. That's right. That's right. See, the service of the Lord are the prophets here. And okay. lo, a great multitude. Uh, and lo, then a great multitude. Behold, a great multitude. So to even be considered as a part of the 144,000 is an honor in itself. That's right. That's why you're supposed to perfect your lot by serving Yahweh by Shema Bashat. And may the, the, your lot fall upon pleasant places, man. All right? We, it's time to put the focus on the elect and Yahweh by Shema Bashat. This world, fuck this world, man. Okay? And all these people that sit up here and portray and act like they Hebrew Israelites, man. We, we ain't, we not, I'm going I'm to narrow it down through the spirit. We ain't out here for the Hebrew Israelites. There's a lot of uh, freaking Hebrew Israelites out here, man. It's time to keep continue to narrow it down, man. Like the apostles and elders have been telling us, man. It's about Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and 144. Then after that, everything else will preside, man. But really, the Lord was fighting for that election, man. Okay? When you read, did the scripture speak about the predestination? Mm -hmm. All right? Those that were, were, were predestined for salvation before the foundations of the earth were formed. That's the 144. It wasn't a female in that. Like a female scissor entered into the, you know, the, the, before the foundations of the earth and gave a recommendation. They started to help. No women or children. None. It was, it was straight masculine spirited individuals. Because in the spirit world, there's no, there's no such thing, like you said. There's no such thing as male and female in the spirit world. But there was a masculine spirit that helped form the earth with Yahweh Shai. That's the 144,000. That's why they're described as all men. 
That's what the Lord is going to use in these latter times to bring about great wonders and miracles, man. All right? As a matter of fact, somebody hold um, Amos 3 and 7. Y'all probably got it. Isaiah 21 and 5. It says, prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. And what are we eating? We're eating the scriptures. Yep, that's, that's right, right, bro. Some of the Solomon in the 8th chapter, man. because he sent us okay we didn't ask the lord to send us the lord commanded us to come out here none of us uh put in a, 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 a application okay and said we, we wanted to be what we are yeah the, interview. the, the whole yeah the interview <laughs> yeah the holy spirit moved upon each and every every last one of these brothers that you see out here to do what they're doing in a high power frequency that's why the honor got to be restored in the brotherhood man right okay Cause what we doing, yeah, yeah, we may make it, we may make it look easy right. from the outside looking in, yeah. but on the inside looking out, this is tough, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the NBA, go to the NFL, it's a, it's a certain level of expertise and judges that comes with actually knowing. That's why with the scripture I read, it says, "Eat, drink." You have to actually consume these scriptures yeah. and let them digest. Oh. Like, yo, if you look at the nigga population, right? 
Boy. And you look at the weapons that are formed against them, they, they, that scripture should never be applied. Because <laughs> every weapon in the black community is prosperous. Every weapon that is formed against the, 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 uh, the brothers ain't prosperous. Right? Remember yeah. when you speak about quenching the fiery darts of Satan? Yeah. Yeah, man, so you, the, the, the honor is going to be put on the elect. Watch. Watch. Him. See, everything is right now, everything is cool. No, nigga. Everything is getting ready to change. Everything is getting ready to change for you fucking blacks. Because if I may, Bishop, because it only only the elect is gonna gamble on the elect. Yeah. See, we believe in this. So all our money's on on seven 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 black. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Spirit. You get what I'm saying? Everybody else, like you said, women, children, you niggas, you all look at us like. Man, you niggas is crazy. Okay, so when, when this when this parlay come back, uh, yeah, we hit. Yeah, we we, we bet on. We bet. We 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 didn't put we we didn't put all of our marbles in all one basket. Right? Everything going here, and we and we and, and the thing is, not only did we do that, we were a hundred percent confident in that bet. Right. Come on now. Not ninety nine point nine. We're a hundred percent confident. In this bet, and if you're not 100% confident in this bet, you will find out. But see, we get ready to be tested. The election is getting ready to be tested in, in, in the likes of your hour shot. And that moment, that Garden of Gethsemane moment, is going to try all of us right, in, right. In, in every in, in our respective lots. Right. We're going to have that one moment where this, everything is pressing you, everything is, is molding and defining you, and your character is solidifying your salvation. of the 144,000 is getting ready to be established in the earth, right. okay? And I'm going to keep hinging upon that fact, you know, uh, 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 until you how about your mouth shot come back. Because that's where the spirit is going right now, man. Right. If you listen to the, if you, that's why you got to keep up with the apostles and the elders. Right. Listen to the spirit that they push. They pushing the 144, okay? It was your how your you, how the 144, man. That's what it's about, man. How you think Israel is getting a, a quickened in the spirit to the degree that they're getting quickened? The 144! Laboring! Enduring sound doctrine, man! That's it. Researching! Like the elder to the one, man, I gotta mention him. How many, how many videos this this brother alone, and I'm just you know saying it about this elder. This elder alone has has done at least 200 videos on the MOTB. Right. But you got guys that's out here professing themselves to be prophets that haven't done one. Right. 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 Okay? Go ahead, bro. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me yep. and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Yeah, many right. countries, man. That's we don't right. just go in on America. We go in on Russia. We go in on China. We go in on Japan. All of you nations in the planet Earth are evil. Right. But, but right. Evil. Okay? You're mm -hmm. evil. Right. You've created calamity, chaos, and turmoil in the planet Earth that's unprecedented, man. And it's slave your own. Right now, Israel is getting blown to the ass right. off the yeah. backside. Let's go. Okay, you get the ass blown off your backside because you destroy other nations. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So the, who's saying this to this degree? The prophets. Right. That's right. The one four four man. That's why the Lord is gonna put the honor on on these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that y'all hate. Yep. That y'all despise. That y'all make TikToks about. That you use racial slanders and white supremacy to belittle us as a nation, look at your future kings and rulers. Right. Okay? Think it's a myth all you want to. Your right. fucking country is falling, man. That's right. That's right. Okay? Right. And you gotta tell these fucking white people. That's right. Man. Okay? That's right. Yeah, I know I'm being very robust right now, but oh fucking well. Right. 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 These people have committed atrocities that can't even be cashed out in the flesh. Okay? They've committed atrocities that we as a nation can't even pay their ass back in the flesh, man. We gotta 
we got to get a new whole spiritual body and a whole nother atmosphere to pay them fuckers back. Yeah. We can't even pay them back in our flesh that we in now. Right. Because it wouldn't even equal what they did to us. But we supposed to let these fucking people glaze on through society like they've done nothing, man. No. Forgive them. Yeah. No, we we the water, bro. Yeah, forgive them, man. We not forgiving nothing of the, that, that 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 spews out the destruction of us as a nation. That's right. We're gonna address it, and we're gonna address it head on. That's what you know, say, blood for blood. Yeah, blood even if yeah. Yeah. even if it's, even if it means in the spirit that we gotta lose our, our life. own life. Right. In the name of calling you out, that's what makes us what we are, not y'all. That's man. right. Because right. see, you people waver. Right. You feel a little bad for one side, and you change yeah. your whole. You're, as the scriptures say, Ephesians 4 and 14, you're as children tossed to and fro. Yep. Right. We're not children back here. Right. We're men, we're Lord willing, we're men of the Lord, right. and we're rooted and established in Yahweh Shai. Right. Uh, right. We can't, we'll die about that. Right. Lord That's willing. Right. That's yep. right. I was going to say, too, we in, even in America. That was going to add to you. That was a good point. Oh, even in America, I, when it was founded, one of the mean? first laws that they uh, uh, officially put within the American books was the, the Code of Hammurabi, man. Yeah. And in that code, it's, it's written the Afra Ah 242. Mm -hmm. right. Which is just universal. That's, that's right. That's universal. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we'll I'm going to finish out. Uh, I'm reading from the top. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Yep. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries yep. and against great kingdoms. Now, I was saying in the group last night, see a lot of people are, 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 are praising Russia for stepping up against America, not considering that the fall of America means the fall of all nations. Yeah. yeah. When America, America is such a stronghold, it's such a powerful country, that when it falls, it, it don't just take itself down. Right. It takes everything down that's attached to it. Right. It's yeah. like if you have strings attached to an anvil, and you throw that anvil into the sea, anything that's attached to that anvil because it's so strong and powerful, it's gonna come with it. It's yeah. Like when a whore, when a whore, think about a, a, a whore in a, in a, it, it deals with men of reverence. If she, superhead. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, 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 Brittany Renner. Or Brittany Renner. Yeah. When they decide to go rogue and against the grain, yeah. they Everybody bring down, down. They, they bring it, they bring down. the whole thing down. Yeah. They bring marriages right. down. Right. Niggas right. start mentioning right. uh, P. Diddy, the game, yep. uh, 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 Ice Cube, athletes. Yep. Yep. Next yep. thing you know, their whole marriage is being Hold brought on. down with her. Scandals. Yeah. That's America, man. That's a beautiful point, man. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. well, even the same thing with uh, what's got Epstein, which yeah, Epstein that, 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 it showed you he, which he was a critical part of the system, and everybody back what they did with, with Epstein, they backlog. Yeah. They backlog everybody he was close to. Yeah. He had affiliations with corporate yeah. affiliations, connections, and that's how they figured out pretty much everybody in the damn near Hollywood. Yeah. It's part of that uh, uh scam. Yeah. Everybody on yeah. everybody who somebody on earth got something to do with Epstein. Everybody right. tied. Yep. Everybody tied in. You yeah. have that it's saying on. Like Kevin Baker. I forget how if a brother knows how everybody is connected. Yeah. Six degrees of separation. Six, six degrees of separation. Six degrees yeah. of separation. Yeah. yeah. Everybody is connected right. through how high does that go? By six people, man. Yeah. So all these devils, they all like, it's a system, man. Right. It's a system. It's just, like, just like the system in your body. Everything is connected one way or another. Right. So when Babylon falls, just like they always say, everything is the whole world is gonna fall. Right. Right. Yeah, because see they, they they're in this mind frame of the rise of the next superpower, right? Yeah. yeah. First of all, the, the the only reason that the elect is gonna rise to the next superpower is because they're gonna be taken out of the earth. Right. Right. Okay? Right. Through your how about your mouth shot. They're not just gonna rise because y'all failed. That's what a lot of these other nations are thinking. We're gonna rise because America failed. The only reason the elect is gonna rise is because there's gonna be a divine intervention from the heavens that's gonna take them out of the earth to deliver them from this destruction. That's the only way they're gonna rise to power right. and get a new body. Right. That's how you know it's about your how about Shema, which I ain't even about us. That's right, that's right, bro. Because Einstein, that's right. you just had this movie that came out, yeah, Top of the Year, Oppenheimer. Yeah, Oppenheimer. Albert Einstein said that what? World War Three will be fought with these bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. World War Four will be fought with sticks and stones. So they already, so that, that's the that's that song in the second chapter we keep quoting yeah, yeah. that why do the heathen imagine right. vain things? Vain things. Right. That's they, a vain thing to think that 
oh, America just gonna fall. We just gonna get our ass beat over here. Right. And y'all gonna continue to eat fucking falafels right. and, um, <laughs> and fat bread in your countries and shit. Right. right. Get the fuck out of here. No, man. see, we gonna, we gonna, but see, we gonna start, we gonna proclaim war. Yes. War is going on right now. We're gonna proclaim it. Go ahead, come on. Right. Against great kingdoms of war and of evil. What? Of war. And of evil. Yeah, man, a beautiful um, thing happened today, man. The Gaza Strip got busy. Yep, yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Hummus. Hummus. Yep. Uh, uh, not hummus. Hummus. <laughs> 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 We're talking oh, about hummus, baby. The other hummus. They getting, they getting busy right now, man. Now, we know that the way that Amalek moves, there will be a grave retaliation. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got to remember what, we got to consider that, that a lot of the turmoil in the earth revolves around Amalek. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So when, when when drama is brought to their front door, oh they respond, baby. Yeah. So now we need to be looking for the response because this response can actually draw out what we're looking for. Yeah. Say somebody owns the Ezekiel and have the least to the nations. Yeah, at least to the flock. must proclaim it because none of these yeah. things shall fail yeah. okay we have we have the bottom line okay yeah we may you know speculate we may look to October 4th you know yeah you know it's gonna pop off but technically speaking I'm gonna be honest I speak on behalf of all the brothers even though we say certain things man we don't be putting our marbles in that shit right right, right. okay because we got the bottom line we gotta report the news we gotta report right. we're, new, yeah. we're reporting the news how we Prophets or newscasters, yeah. but we don't speak on. We have to speak on certain things. We got to. Hey, look, I'm gonna put it to you. Apostle Tar spoke on. If it happened, it happened. If it don't, we know the bottom line. America gonna be destroyed. I, I could put, I could put my money on that. Oh, yeah. Regardless. If I may, if I may. Yeah, please. You all, you, you all can say whatever you want to say about that October fourth. Yeah. But how about this? On October the third. Yeah. Russia sent out the same warning yep. to their people, but it wasn't like ours. Their right. warning was a real warning to the people. Hey, this is a warning that you'll hear if there's a nuclear fallout and you got about 30 minutes to get the hell where you going to go. Woo. That's what they got. Yeah. yeah. Now, what a coincidence. Yeah. What a coincidence that, what was it, the third, the fourth? Yeah. Today's the seventh. There's one on the tenth. Later, a few days later, right. Israel. Israel. Ass ass Thank you, yeah. Yeah. So. We have to report on these things and use them as building blocks so that we can report prophecy. You gotta remember, man, a pro uh, 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 Jonah. Jonah prophesied about Nineveh. And Nineveh, Nineveh wasn't technically destroyed when he said it was going to be destroyed, but was it destroyed? Did it make Jonah a false prophet because he prophesied of that destruction? They but repented. it didn't happen when people like thought them. it was going to happen? No, he was still a prophet because it happened. Right. Go to That's the key. We gotta go to the book of Tosh. Now let's get into the scriptures so we can give so we can give you the understanding on how a prophet views and speaks things. Cause just because a prophet speaks things doesn't mean that it happens when the prophet wants it to happen. It ain't about the prophet. It's about the will of Yahweh about your mouth. Right. And right. the prophet is always at the will of your how watch him out that's what you fucking uh 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 um uh, 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 uh pipsqueaks don't understand i don't understand that because you don't understand prophecy right okay because you're rogue rebellious degenerates in the planet earth you're full of lust you're full of lust and evil concupiscence that's what you people are full of so you don't understand what we be talking about we, we, we prophesy but the lord we prophesy Yahweh shot coming back right to deliver us but the Lord also said, wait ye. Yeah. Uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, let's come on, bring this out. Uh, real quick, this is uh, 2 Peter 1 and 21. For prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, yeah. come on now. but holy men of the Most High spake. Now, who you think speaking right now? Holy men. Holy men. See, that's why you can't take lightly yeah. the words of a prophet. That's right. That's okay? Right. Does not the law tell you in, in, in the law? It says, forsake not the Levite. Right. Uh, as long as thou liveth upon the earth. That's right. Now, what were the Levites known for? for being the priests of the Most High. That's right. So, if you if you forsake the Levite.
then that means that you're not sending up the supplications to Yahweh by Shema Messiah. Right. Right. So who are the modern day Levites? The prophets, the 144,000. So if you forsake the prophets, if you forsake the prophets and what they're speaking about, essentially, you're forsaking the priests of the Yahweh by Shema Messiah. So therefore, there's not an intercession being made for you to the Yahweh by Shema Messiah. There's no prayers for me. There's no prayers. There's going to be certain people where the Lord is going to stop. He's going to draw the line of prayers from them to him. Right. Some people prayers are going to have to go from them to the, to the prophets to him. Right. Okay. Right. Trust and believe, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, a lot of you women out here, you think you just going right to Yahweh Shai. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. A lot of people out here is thinking they're going to just be able to glaze and skip over all the dedication and, 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 and trial and tribulation and sacrifice and, and just this hardship that we didn't endure and just go right around us straight to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's why we're going to have that beautiful power to remit and retain. Like Paul had. Yeah. 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 Paul said, I have the, the power to remit or retain sins unto me. So there's going to be a time where the Lord is only going to answer or hear the prayers of the election yes. through you. Right. You people are going to have to believe eventually that we are the prophets of the Lord. Oh, we're saying we're the Yahushas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why we're going to put the honor in ourselves first. We're going to honor ourselves. We're going to honor. That's why we're supposed to have honor and respect until your own physical body. Right. You honor your own physical body. Okay? So that other people can respect you. So if we're a body, spiritual body, we put the honor in our body, in our body from ourselves first so that others can respect you. Okay? And you people are about to really, really be faced with a decision right. whether we are the prophets of the Lord or not. Yahweh Shai, it'd be too easy if Yahweh Shai came down right. and be like, right. here they go, these are the ones. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's them. And these are the prophets of the Lord right here. Y'all listen to them. That'd be too easy. Everybody would listen. You're going to be faced with a decision on whether or not you're the prophets of the Lord or not. Okay? And we ain't out here to convince you fucking people, man. We out here for the elect. Because the elect is going to get it. Okay? Go ahead, Gamal. I got a little bit more. It's, uh, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, man, you think we're just talking? See, a lot of people think we're just fucking talking, man. And technically speaking, in our own personal life, we don't even talk a lot. Okay? A lot of the brothers that you see up here are quiet. Don't even really know how to master the art of speaking to people. Right. But when you get out here, there's an energy, there's a vibration that takes over, man. The spirit. Tell me thick as hell during the week. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me thick as hell. Yeah, man, you be stuttering, you be trying to yeah. make a, yeah. a, a simple ass point, stuttering. People are like, oh, that's a nice guy. <laughs> but then when you get out here, it flows. Yeah, man. Like, Come on, man. I was just saying, like, I was just saying, like, from at least of us to the greatest of us, all of us will always be on one accord. Oh, yeah. You know, giving giving um respect and honor to the hundred and forty four thousand. Okay. Let me say, Bishop, in Isaiah the nineteenth chapter, nineteen somebody pull for the elder. Because, like you said, like go ahead and read. Bring it out, man. See, these people don't know who they driving and walking past, man. Okay, and that's not to toot our own horn. That's to give glory and honor to Yahweh by Shema Yeah, he who sent us. But the Lord is getting to a point to where there's so much dedication coming from the 144,000 that, that he'd be remiss not to honor it. That's the time we're going into. The honor. The honor of our nation is going to be restored starting with Yahweh. Yahweh Shai and the one four four, then the one third. That's how the honor is going to be restored. So brothers, prepare. 
Oh, yeah. and, 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 and honor comes what? Shame. We're going to be shamed for this word. We're going to be persecuted for this word. We're going to be spoken of all evil for this word. But that's what we're going to find our honor. Because through that little shining uh, silver lining, like the uh, like the elder used to say, I always remember that. In the, in the midst of that silver lining of us being talked shit about, there's going to be a group of people that's going to see through all of that bullshit and know that, 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 that we are those men. Because it's balanced. You get it. The hate's going to increase, the love's going to increase. Yep. That, that's, that's, that's just a, it's just a balance of it all. So like you said, don't be all uh, petrified by the idea of hate. Now that love, you're going to have people, that, gonna have people that don't know you that's going to be willing to die for you. Yep. You know how crazy that is? Right, yep. right, right. They life on the line, man. Oh, if I may say too, because we've been talking about how people are going to have to come up to us and whatnot, but that's going to... Uh, make us have a whole bunch of confidence, right? Mm -hmm. One way that we have a lot of confidence is Galatians 6 and 4. What does it say? That we rejoice in ourselves alone. You see, yeah. so we're going to have some type of rejoice and joy within us. Yeah. Yeah. And then also Deuteronomy 32nd chapter, it says the Lord repented himself from his servants. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about the servants. Yeah. So if he's repenting himself from the servants, that's going to be a clear indication mm -hmm. of, who, of who we are yeah, in, that, that's right. in that time. Mm -hmm. so he's going to believe who you are. Yeah, because eventually, that hey, I'll say this, you know, there are brothers that are out here that are of the 144,000 that may have doubts that they are of the 144,000, but the Lord is going to actually strengthen that doubt into faith and confidence, you know, and that, that a, a lot of times too is just humility. You know, it's just a brother just looking at himself like, man, I don't even know if it's worth it. Me? Yeah. Me? It's, it's not, and that's that's the right spirit to be in, honestly. Yeah, right, right, right. Not to doubt it. But I knew since I was four years old. I yeah, come on, man. Ain't nobody really, ain't nobody really know like that. Hey, hey, even, even now in the flesh, that's why the, the apostles and elders, through the spirit, they, 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 they push out the hopefully leg, man. Okay, but remember, remember the scripture says what? Then shall it be known. Whom are my chosen? Right. Not who are the called. Right. Yeah, because the scripture says what? Many are called, but what? You are chosen. Yeah. So it's gonna come a point in time where you wanna you wanna see the spirit. Hey Paul, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you brothers with this. I say this all the time. Paul knew he was of the elect. He did know. Right. Yeah. Paul knew it. He said, I, he, had, he said, I have fought my fight. I have finished my course. Therefore, henceforth, a crown is stored up for me. That's basically him saying, man, I, 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 I did what I had to do. I must be of the elect. That's, that, that was confidence, but that was, it was still humility because before he said, a crown was stored up for him, he said, I did what I had to do. I labored, man. I caught hell. Yeah, I'm about oh, to say. Hell, man, I sacrificed. I, I forsook houses. I, I, I was person. I was blind. He did everything. Was, how was shy himself visited him. Right. Before you, before hold on, let me say this. Before him going on his on his dying bed, it it would it would do a disservice to the truth for him to even doubt if he was up in the land. Right. Out of everything that he's seen and was shown, what more does it does it take? Right. 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 That's right. where the the, the, the hundred and forty four thousand eventually are going to get in the spirit and they're going to be they're going to be sure of their calling and election man remember that man right the brothers are going to be sure through the holy spirit that they're being called of that number because how can you not doubt how can you lead others to that mark you doubt. you doubt right you're the leader the lord set you up to be a beacon of light but you're doubting yourself and you got men, women, and other children, right. and other members of the elite. Right. right. Now you push in doubt. What a no, man. Right. You push right. You, push, right. you push hope. But show them that the crown is attainable. The crown, hey, Paul said what? I am ha apprehended of that in which I am not a apprehended for. Yeah. Okay? Meaning, Paul said, look, I'm a prisoner of something that I haven't even held on to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I haven't even yet. obtained what I'm apprehended right. for, but I'm apprehended already, but I haven't obtained that which I'm apprehended for. Right. That's like yes. that's like basically well, in other terms, race. that's like being being um, judged of a crime that you didn't commit. So basically we being we're being tried and chastised for a crown that we haven't even gotten. Don't even see it. But we're still right. fighting for it. That's the thing. <laughs> we're apprehended for a crown. 
that we haven't attained. That's right, right. So that means that means that eventually, if we're apprehended for the fact of attaining that crown, that means that we have a chance of attaining it. We gotta start thinking, brothers. Right. We're about to be put in some real serious situations. Go ahead. It's uh, Revelation 3 and 12. Him that yes. overcometh will I make a pillar in my temple in the temple of the of that's what resonated to be like it's not fair. Brings us to our lowest point, you know? Yes. But in the spirit, you reason with it, you be like, you know what? Well, that must mean that, that, that I'm a man of the Lord. This, but in the flesh, if you be emotional, it's like, yo, it's not bad. You know, the, 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 the slightest thing I do, I'm getting my ass beat for it. You know, you can't catch a break. Niggas get away with everything. There's niggas out here that, 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 that killed niggas in the 80s that, that they got alive. married and just living in the <laughs> Like, 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 yo, this nigga was selling crack in the 80s. Yeah. You hear it is, you got them, you miss a count, boy, you about to get, you, you feel like you about to get your shit split. Yeah. But that's, that, that keeps, that because the Lord is putting more emphasis on us than them. But just remember that there is a time and a place for judgment, man. It's time and chance happen to them all. And we're going to see the fall. I'm going to say this, because we've been speaking about the honor that's going to be restored in 144,000. Yep. A lot of that honor is going to come through the fall of Israel. Yep. 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 Through the fall of these different groups. Through the fall outside of these different of Great groups. The water, the water, the water. Because these different groups outside of Great Millstone right. have a lot of folly and BS going on yep. that is not in line with the Holy Scripture pursuant to Isaiah uh, 8 and 20. So, this, so judgment is going to be amongst these groups. Right. That's why you got and fights and physical altercations amongst yeah, the groups, yeah, battles and, and back and forth, and yeah. social media posts, yeah. as opposed to what GMS Frank Millstone, we just teaching. We just teaching. Which, that spirit of being blameless is the spirit and the honor that's going to be bestowed upon the elect. Okay? Not because each individual member of the elect. We all know we are the elect. And because of the doctrine. Truth, it's the rest with us. You know? Now if you fall fall away or you go, that's on you. But the point is, it's gonna be seen amongst those that come against the doctrine of the truth. Right. Yep. You come against the truth, that's where your judgment lies. Because you come against the truth. I got a scripture for you, uh, Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Right. So there has to be men and a group of men at the Sadducees and the Sanhedrin and the Romans. No, it was just the Howard Shot Right. One group, one group of men was set up to bring the truth. Everybody else had fault. Everybody else was going off. And then when you had John the Baptist. Of when he was teaching, his followers followed Yahweh Shah. Right. Because he baptized Yahweh Shah. Yep. Okay? He said, I am not, he's supposed to come. He said, I'm not worthy. He was just set up to teach before Yahweh Shah came. Yep. But if you can understand what John the Baptist was saying, you will understand what Yahweh Shah was saying. That's right, bro. And after that point, when Yahweh Shah started his ministry, there was no other Israelite group that came on the scene that was already around that could go toe to toe with the doctor. Right. Yep. It, because number one, all right, the scripture prophesied for the Lord's son to come on the scene. That's right. All right. Then number two, there had to be a correction amongst Israel, starting with the leaders. That's right. If they were right, there would be no need for you. Right. 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 Okay. And you know another thing, if I, if I may add to you, Elder, the anchor, the anchor to your house was your house shot because what happened was you had pride going on amongst the uh the southern kingdom where they were acting like they were the, the direct uh uh you know messenger to the most high right okay but they were um, really they were omitting yahweh okay so when yahweh shot came on the scene he was the one that to establish yahweh in the earth okay and yahweh established him in the earth so that's why that's why everybody had to stop what they was doing and go through Yahweh Shah. Because everybody was literally acting like they had direct access to the most high, man. That's why the genealogies was going on, man. Everybody was trying to make themselves the sons of Aaron. 
and the sons of Wada. And the sons of Aaron was known for what? The sons of Aaron were known to have access to the Holy of Holies. So you have you had Jakes back then that were arguing over genealogies on whether they were the sons of Aaron or not to act like they had leverage over the nation of Israel. And, and so what Yahweh did, being a Judite, that's why he said uh, nothing concerning the, uh, uh, so, the evidence of the tribes concerning of not the priesthood. <laughs> I forgot his name. But you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, concerning the priesthood. Evidence of our Lord spring out of the Evidence of our Lord spring out I haven't read that scripture. Yeah. I know where it's in Hebrews 7 and 14, yeah. man. Okay? <laughs> you know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't forgot that much. Okay? But concerning the priesthood, man. So the Lord used the Judite to come into the planet Earth to be a direct anchor to him. And we had to believe on Yahweh Shai to hold it down so that we can directly connect with Yahweh. Because what happens, and this is happening right now in Israel, man. Okay? This is what's happening. I'm gonna tell you, brothers in the spirit, you gotta you gotta be spiritual to pick up what's going on. There's no new thing under the sun. A lot of these guys are looking for the top seat to act as if they are the direct yeah. connection between Israel and the Most High. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think that they're don't think because they say Yahweh Shai right. that they actually believe on. That's, right. that's a front right. to get you to, to 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 buy into the program. But when you buy into their program, you see that their deity. It's whoever the leader is, yep. and then it's the most high. Yeah. Who ain't the good and uh, the Micah? Yep. You look at I you look at the ISUPK. Oh, yeah, they command the commanding general Yahana. That was his chair. Is, is it, what you say he's the head? <laughs> <laughs> oh well the the commanding the commanding general Nathaniel guy, him, him too. Yeah, like they then they just make mock they these people be making mockery of your how shot and y'all not picking up on it, man. Because it was the same thing that was happening back during the time when Yahweh Shai was on the earth, man. Just because they may throw Yahweh Shai's name out there does not mean that they actually stand or believe it. They're trying to be the direct seat for Israel to the Most High. They're skipping over Yahweh Shai, man. They think they are Yahweh Shai. They think they're Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 9 and 16, for the leaders of this people caused them to err. That's right, the leaders of this people. So you have individuals that call themselves Israelites, okay? That's causing a multitude of Jakes to err. The word error goes back to the word error. You're causing a lot of people to commit iniquity and go off, man. And that's a, that's yeah, a grave transgression, okay? That's a grave transgression when you howl by your mouth shot, when you mislead his people, okay? It's like an adult misleading a child, man. Okay? It's like, man, why the fuck you doing that child like that, man? Why would you teach a child some shit like that? Knowing what you know, why would you purposefully teach a child that, man? That's offensive as hell, man. Okay? Well, that's how the Lord looks at the leaders of this people that's leading his sheep astray, man. I'm telling you, man, probably in the next couple of months, something dire is going to happen to you Israelites. Okay, because we don't got a lot of time, man. One of these groups is gonna get jacked up. Man. Well, hold on, real quick. I mean, okay. Real quick, some real quick. One. This is um, this is Sirach seven and four, and it says, "Seek not of the Lord's preeminence, yep. neither of the king the seat of honor." As heavy as the head, the weight. Yep. Yeah, don't yep. seek that, man. Okay. That hey, that even goes that even goes for us. Okay, we're worms. We're worms. We a worm needs protection. A worm, the only defense mechanism that a worm has is what? Earth. To hide. To hide the earth. That's the only. He has no other defense mechanism but to hide, bro. That's why we gotta hide. The yeah. scripture say we gotta hide in the Lord. We ain't got shit, bro. You can be the biggest nigga. That it don't matter. Okay. So that's why. That's why we gotta be humble in this thing, man. Okay, we, we have nothing but Yahweh shot, man. See, a lot of people are going to put themselves in harm's way 
by seeking preeminence, man. All right, preeminence goes into um, uh, uh, I think pre means before, and eminence means like honor. Yeah, now you're Where'd you put this? Oh. Everybody wants to stand. Everybody wants a reputation. Everybody wants followers and things like that. You know? Wow. And in the spirit, really, you should, you should be trying to keep yourself away from it. Like that shit, man. Yeah, right. right. If I made real quick, think about all the old One West videos. Going back in the day, One yeah. West videos. How is it that Apostle Tahar is like with high rank? In the yeah. one west days you can't pull a video up from the 90s they were doing interviews you know there's no you right. just go see a pastor Tahar on the highways and hedges you're you not gonna see videos like the one video where who was it that came to one west and interviewed you, you know it was uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Shia, yeah, 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 yeah you don't even see a pastor Tahar. god god yep yeah, <laughs> yep yeah, yeah. and, and that yeah, yeah and that's a good point see because you can tell through the spirit that a pastor Tahar only wanted to see the honor of your house by Shemal Rashad. He didn't, he didn't care about being looked at as some prestigious figure before men. And that's how we we, we got to be the same way. Okay? We're here to edify one another, man. We're here to uplift. We're here to exhort. We're here to admonish. We're here to, to warn and, 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 and bring forth the judgments of the most high for nothing, man. Okay? We're worms. Worms. Worms, man. Don't forget that, man. Okay, go ahead. I was going to say, when the Lord would... Uh, do his miracles, do his, a, a lot of times so I was, I was looking for that too. Yeah, yeah he was saying, yeah. uh, speak, uh, like, like Kevin Gates, a uh, retarded ass said, you know, he said, yeah, man, you know, I, um, you know, it was one Start person, man, yeah, I started their car, did. he said, yeah, I touched the battery, the car started, and I told him, oh, yeah. you know, speak nothing of this. Yeah, speak nothing of this. You just cap it, nigga. But no, the Lord actually was doing miracles and saying, look, don't, don't say nothing, man, let, let the most have it. You know, give the glory to the Lord. Yeah, he said praise the most high. Yeah, because yeah, we were just speaking about how, you know, you got guys that want to be the correct leaders of the Lord. Right? But the Lord won't lie. You promised to already set up the loop from you know, between man and himself and his son. Right? And this um this land bears on to what the brother Lamar brought out. Isaiah 19, excuse me, Isaiah 19 and 19. In that day. There shall be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, because the Lord is not that literally pillar. setting up actual altar. The altar represents, like we were saying earlier, the brothers. Man, we are yeah, that yeah. altar. We're the, we're the, we're the, we're the, uh, where are you with my Hebrew? We're the Zabat. And yeah, we're the Mazda box. We're the, right. we're the right. altar right. and the sacrifices. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but, right. I, yeah. Yeah. but I brought this out because through the spirit, we were talking earlier, you people are going to have to bring your gifts to the altar. Right. 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 Yeah. Who's the altar? The, the man, altar man. are the men of the Lord. So hey. you're going to have to bring, you're going to have to bring something of value through the spirit to that pillar. Because what was happening was people was trying to skip the altar. Yeah. They was trying to skip the altar. Right. And they was trying to go straight to the sons of Aaron. Okay. All sacrifices. Yeah, they was giving wicked ass sacrifices. Or they like like you say, you know, just to bring it back in context, they was just trying to go straight to the sons of Aaron and go before right. the Holy of Holies. Right. But you had other Levites that served on the outer courts of the of the yeah, temple right. also. Right. That you would have to go through. Right. You you know what it took to really get to the In the holy of holies, it was really only once a year that the, that the chief high priest went before the holy of holies. Man, yeah, Levi, yeah, super. Of course, you had the regular Levites, then you had Levites that were set up at the furniture. Yep. That was at the show. Well, then you had the bread. chief priests. Yep. Right. And then you had the high priests. Yep. It was levels to the to the priests. And Jake was trying to go around. Jake was trying to go around, yeah. was trying to go around all that. Yep. To get to gain yep. direct access to the Most High for leverage, right. and that's what's happening in Israel right now. That's why, if you can see what's happening through a spiritual eye, you will see why everybody wants to go around Great Millstone. Okay. They don't want to deal, honestly. And I'm, they, they talk that shit, they don't want to go, but they don't want to deal with what we're talking about. Yep. These camps don't want to deal with what we're speaking about right. through the Spirit because they understand that we are the first tier or layer to the kingdom of heaven. Yep. 
right. starting with the the elect. And, uh, I, and I, I perceive through the spirit that there are members among these other churches that are of the elect. But I also perceive that it's not a lot of members among these other camps that are of the elect. I believe through the spirit, I could be wrong, but I believe there's very other few because the scriptures speak about how the, the, the elect have obtained it. But the rest have were blinded. Right. So how fucking long do it take? You know, how long? We all we all grew up watching these cats. You know, especially you know I speak about these elder brothers here. You know, along with, with some of the rest of you brothers, we, we we had to cancel this. We had to cancel this thing out. Yeah. We didn't really know. You know, we thought Israel was Israel. Some days we would watch ISUPK. Some days we would watch IUIC. Some days we watch GOCC or GMS, but after a process of elimination and the Holy Spirit working with you, you begin to see eventually who has it and who don't. And you pick the side. So how fucking long does it take for the rest of these guys? Right. When it first started, yeah, right. It shouldn't take you that long. You know what? Even then, what those from they say, we were talking about what we were talking about maybe 10 plus years ago. The world of Israel on the internet and everything. This was different. Yes, it, this this was different. It was totally different. So we're in a time period now where you hey, YouTube is completely different. You right. realize right. you can watch a video, you can have a video here and another video over here. You can yeah, 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 yeah. you can you can yeah. counter what's the word, analyze these videos yeah. in, 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 in speed right now. It wasn't right. like this 10 years right. ago. It's a more faster pace now. It's a more faster yeah. pace. Yeah. You should be getting it faster. Getting it faster. Live, but, it, but the thing is, too, also with that, with, with that time, time, a lot of guys don't really sit down and study, man. You know, they get caught up with the uh, the glamour, the glitch, the, 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 the editing, you know, all these different uh, ways. Like this, when you speak about uh, subvert and overthrow houses, a lot of these guys use these uh, these platforms as tools to, to bewitch men, man. Right. You know, lead captain, silly, silly women. Oh, like what was that? Uh, oh, what was it called? Oh, uh, who have been bewitched? You know, to believe a lot, to believe a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, foolish Galatians who have bewitched. Yeah. A lot of these guys is, 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 is high level warlocks. They just here to bewitch people. Right. Hey, but hey, somebody hold up real quick. Somebody get for me um, um, Romans 11 and 7. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead. I got something real quick. Uh, Sirach 7 and 4. Seek not of the Lord preeminence, yep. neither of the king the seat of honor. Go ahead, read the next verse. It says, uh, justify not thyself before the Lord. Yeah, that's what a lot of these individuals do. To justify. They try to justify their teachings before the Lord as if they're right. Because if the Lord, let, let's say, let's say for instance, brothers, and I want brothers to listen to this carefully. Now you have Alizar of the Safari that came in teaching the doctrine of Great Millstone, and, and, and eventually he branched off, and then he started teaching other things that weren't rooted in him. If the Lord was to actually say that he's going to use that doctrine that he's teaching as, as the doctrine of the earth, do you know how much more longer we're going to be here? It took another 15 to 20 years. Not even yep. that. If that's the case, yeah. 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 Just, as mo just as long as it took for Israel to get on the level we're on now, yep. it, it's at this point almost 20 years now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's it why I tell you. It will, have to, it will have to take at least that long. That's why the Lord had a lot of those councils to happen with our elders and apostles Wait, before you two even happened. Yeah, yeah. So that we yeah. that, that the doctrine would be solidified in the earth and he would have pillars and forerunners to bring it to us. Yeah. All of that stuff was ironed out Sorry. off the camera. Yeah. The our Lord went. Our apostles didn't get the understanding of Cordelius being an Israelite uh, two years before you two. Yeah. Right. Or, or, you know, and, and the thing is, that would put us in a confused state of mind right. if when we wake up to the truth, we see the pillars arguing or having a council over understanding that we're not even rooted in it. The Lord dealt with all of that behind the scenes. That was, and, and then he presented the truth through YouTube for those that were going to get it. So you mean to tell me post YouTube, really, really technically speaking, kind of 10 years after YouTube, you come, you come with a whole nother doctrine that you learn, and that's what you learn. after all these souls have been woke up. Remember, and I'm gonna say this, because I, I like to, 
I like to jog the memory of brothers to think. Before the Cornelius, before the Cornelius Council, or before the Gentile Council, really the Hebrew Israelites were centered in New York. There wasn't a whole bunch of camps out here that was being tossed to and fro. The Lord dealt with that in the center of Jerusalem, as he did in the ancient world, man. Before the gospel of the Gentile was spread, it started with, between that disagreement between Paul and Peter in Jerusalem, man. And then once it was established, it was cast abroad. A lot of you people ain't spiritual for nothing. And you can't see what the Spirit is doing. That's why the Lord had all those things happen before it was broadcast to the world. All right, go ahead, Gamal. I would say also, with that Canadian Council, the apostles said that they wasn't going to teach you. That was part of the thing. They, you know, they when when they actually uh, uh went through it, you know, <laughs> put it put it in your mind. <laughs> with it, ultimately it was the spirit that 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 that, that, that revealed that unto them, man. Right. You know, but they wasn't doing the, those things through controversial means to come up with a reputation. Because even part of the split, you know, what did the apostle R say? They was gonna follow King Marshall. Yep. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that was that was the, that was the that, king. That was the king. Yeah. You know, so they was yeah. gonna. At the end of the day, they all fell in line until, you yeah. know, the spirit started to spirit. Everything that the apostles and elders are pushing on us to teach, they actually either knew it or had a counsel about it before they got on YouTube. Right. Whether it was the rape situation, whether it was the marriageable age situation, whether it was the Gentiles or Cornelius being the J, whether it was uh, uh, all these other instances and topics that a lot of people are tripping up over in 2023. Yeah. They had these conversations oh, yeah. back in the 90s. <laughs> it wasn't like when they when they woke up to YouTube, then the Lord gave them the revelation. The Lord prepared them and prepared the doctrine before they got on YouTube to give to the elect. You, you see the finished you see the finished product of a diamond, not while it's being refined. Thank you. Yep. You see the finished product after it's been refined and it's been and people have put the, the, the binoculars on it and they you know because when you look into the, uh, the term BBS it means uh, very very special now what it is is every diamond on the planet earth has a flaw okay it, it has a flaw but then you have some people that say flawless diamonds but te technically speaking every every diamond has a flaw but the, B, the BBS yeah, the, the BBS is is the very very special, or the very very um. Uh, I think I think the S mean like very very um slighted. It's very very slighted. You can rarely you can't see the flaw Definitely from the naked, naked eye. eye. Yeah. So you got to get the um monocle. Get the, that little thing that they be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they look at a lot of those diamonds and be like, yeah, that's BBS. That's very very slighted. Okay, or SI. Okay, so you gotta you gotta understand with 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 the doctrine, it's a similar situation. Right. It's very very really it, it ain't even slighted at all. It's not slighted at all. It's pure. Hey hey um real quick somebody give me um uh Psalms uh twelve and six. But it's just like you were saying. Hold, hold on, let me get this real quick. I I you know Psalms twelve and six. You know Psalms twelve and six because the detail. The detail is in the cut, like what uh, the elder Abba said, man. The detail is in the cut. So when we look at at, at, at at the detail of the scriptures, this is this is really a flawless cut. It's a flawless cut this, diamond, that's, man. That's why Proverbs the third chapter tells you that you yeah, can't yeah. count, you can't liken this this wisdom um, unto rubies. Yep. Which is another thing that uses a, that same yeah. scale of right. clarity cut. Um, yeah. color. Can yep. I say too? Yep. There's a certain when you cut uh, uh, stones. There's a certain blade that you need. You can only cut diamond with this precise. You, you yeah. can't cut Precision. A, a, a diamond blade with a uh, steel uh, knife. Plywood blade. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's got to be perfectly or, balanced. Uh, it has diamond to be the tip. right blade. Yep. It's got to be diamond tip. You know what diamond I'm saying? It's got to be diamond tip. So you can work a lot of teeth in it because you want to cut it fine. Fine. Yeah. So you, you need no water too. In it. You, yeah. you got to use that water to cut it. You got to use water. water. Yeah. You got to be wet. Goes, you know what I'm saying? Like how you do towel. Right? Like how you, how you, same thing with towel is another type of stone. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. You got to use. Yeah. So the yeah. thing yeah. is, with the scriptures, a lot of these guys, are they're trying to recut uh, 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 VBS. That's crazy. They're trying to, they're trying, they're trying to, to recut. They're trying to drop cut it. They don't want to use their VBS. 
We don't need the, the, the Lord already cut. He already cut that, that diamond, man. I remember, man, you know, the, 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 the lot of men is in the spirit of Yahweh. I remember the, the Lord maintains the lot of men. So just because uh, Elder Abba Bibbins didn't know certain certain of those deep breakdowns mm -hmm. that don't discredit his lot because right. his lot was to what to bring back the children yeah, to, the fathers. Right. To, the, to, to the men then you yeah. had the lot of high priest Ariya. Yeah. you had uh elder yaquav's lot mm -hmm. to start the school yeah, right. to get things you know formulated to show just because they wasn't able to see certain mysteries don't mean that they didn't play their lot the lot of apostle tahar was to clean up or purify, purify. purify. the diamond. Yeah, purify. and he did it. Yes, a lot of y'all don't don't respect the apostle to heart. The Lord's gonna get you for that. Yeah. Give me that that Psalms twelve and six. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, this, uh, Psalm twelve and six. Yep. The words of the Lord are pure words. Are what? Pure words. The words of the Lord are pure. The word pure in the Hebrew is what? To heart. And, and, and I, I, I'm going to keep it real with you. I, ha I haven't seen an individual in this truth to teach as vehemently and as, as dedicated as Apostle Tahar. Yeah, right, the, his word, in order for you to, to, to teach as much as he teaches, your words have to be Because you teach so much that if it was wrong, you would find a, a, a plethora right, yeah, yeah. of flaws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because he teaches so much. He dropping three videos a day. He's giving y'all the material to critique him. He's giving y'all the material to critique him. Plus, Paul say, I shun not to declare the whole gospel. Yeah, hey, hey, y'all, give me uh, Acts 20 and 27. There's not a verse in the Bible. He has a, a detailed, like you said, going to that detail. Walk down. Man. So, so if he's putting out a high volume of teachings and he's wrong, he's wicked. There should be a multitude of videos in Israel yeah, yeah. exposing right. and debunking his what he's teaching. But read that again, Gamal. Oh, uh, Psalms 12 and oh, oh, Mike, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Okay. Yep. Psalm so, so 12 and 6 again. Yep. The words of the Lord are pure words. You can't find a flaw. Right. Flawless. Let's call it straight to the point, man. Yep. You can't find a flaw in what Apostle Tahar is saying. So all y'all do is revisit that 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 old argument of rape. Well, but, but, but even, then, even then, them bringing up the whole twenty the year the you know the year two thousand uh, breakdown. Yeah. Well, the scriptures the scriptures tell us that there shall be a day that you should desire to see one of the, the son of man's days. Yep. Roughly paraphrased prayers in, yeah. in the book of Luke. And, yep. and, and so prophecy was fulfilled even then. Yeah, yeah that's, right. that's right. Apostle Harden didn't start that. Doctor. Apostle Harden didn't come up. That wasn't his doctor. You know? The world was saying the whole. The fucking world was saying. <laughs> I was even. I wasn't even in the truth. But I was like, "Hey, man, watch this game, bro." They, they want to put that on Apostle. They want to solely put that on Apostle Tahar. But out of all of the videos that Apostle Tahar did in the last year, I say in the last ten months, I'm pretty sure Apostle Tahar has probably done over a thousand videos oh, for sure. in the last ten months. And if you cannot find a sink, you don't have. Israel should, if Apostle Har was evil, or Apostle okay. Gabar and all these elders was that wicked and, and flawed in the doctrine, right. there should be a thousand videos yeah. going up on how they wrong. Right. 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 But the words of the Lord are pure. Go ahead. It says, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You can't, do, you can't catch it. All right. It's like trying to, it's, try, it's like trying to find a slighted, a slighted, um, a slight in a in a VVS diamond with the naked eye. Right. Yeah. Okay. But you know what, Bishop? Yes, sir. The scriptures tell us. But you know what? If they find if these individuals that do find something, you're actually finding that you aren't pure. Let's say of Titus the first chapter. Yeah. Yep. Right. It says what unto the pure, pure. All, all things, things are, are pure. pure. But unto those that are unpure, nothing is pure. Right. So that, this word, you're gonna find. You're you're doing your damnness to find something. Yeah. Right. Of an impurity in this. But really, but really, yeah. technically, the impurity is in you. Yeah, that's right. The reason why they want to do that is because they want to validate their sin. Yeah. Because yeah. if that's he's what right, it is. because if Pastor Hall is right, wrong, then that, then they want to then they can discount everything. Yeah. 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 They yeah. can be all right in the eyes. And they yeah. try yeah. to. Yeah. And eventually, what they do is they yeah. use yeah. they use a Pastor Hall, Pastor Bar, yeah. as leverage to build themselves up 
And then once they build themselves up, they stop talking about the apostles and elders because they don't have enough material. So now they got enough following <laughs> to where they can do their own thing. Yep. They got their own uh, fake jewelry shop. Yep. And they don't have to go and try to buy diamonds from the from Apostle R and Apostle Yeah, say again. Yeah, Moise Knight. Yeah, Moise Knight. Yeah. It looks like a diamond. Yeah. You know what? Because because of Moise Knight, the scriptures say be aware of false prophets that have entered into the world. Yeah. Because of Moise Knight, the naked eye. It looks like a diamond. It looks like a diamond. But now you got enough, so you don't have to mention this jewelry shop because now you have enough buyers to wait. So now you're like, ah. You ain't gotta go to them, just come to me. But eventually, when you wanna get your thing off the ground, you gotta head on that jewelry shop. Hey man, don't go over there. Don't buy that good jewelry. Don't buy that good silver. Why waste money? Why would you spend that much money on silver and I could just set you up with this? Just come up. And then when they get enough clientele built up, they don't have, they can't talk about them because it's premier jewelry. Only the finest Only, go to yeah, buy yeah, from that store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't no nigga, really technically that? speaking, <laughs> the apostles and elders are not allowing no nigga to come buy jewelry yeah. uh, from right. their spiritual yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't come into this thing if you ain't right. Yeah. Okay? You gotta have a reference. You gotta have spiritual money yeah. built up, not only to teach yeah. this word, but to cross the line. Right we yeah. ain't even just letting no nigga come on the other side. Yeah. A lot of Jakes be having to wait one, two years. Yeah. You gotta be a verified, certified yeah. customer. Yeah. You have to have to show your face and you would have to have proof, document, documentation yeah. that you can buy this product. That's right. I got a clue. That's, oh, and I'm know saying what? that in spiritual <laughs> terms. Yeah, <laughs> credit check. I know it's hot. I know it's hot. The level of luxury. Like, I mean, they say, uh, Birkins. like, Birkin bags, Hermes, and stuff like that. They don't just let anybody buy their bags, man. You know? They don't buy a yeah, bunch of other stuff before you get what you need. Yeah, they got exclusive down. Yeah. And they have exclusive bags. You know, they already deserve, already master majority of the bags. They're dedicated, loyal customers. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. it with you in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a logo. Go ahead, go ahead. I got one. Lamentations 4 and 1. And it says, How has the gold become dim? Yeah. How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the tops of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. Yeah, see, this, this is a spiritual jewelry shop, brothers. Okay? And the refiner is Yahweh Basham Al That's right. He's taking all of you precious stones and he's cleaning you up. That's right. And he's he's creating you as a as a fine piece of art. That's why if I may okay. say Bishop, that's why you can't you shouldn't look at the next man's um no. with uh envy and strife. You should look at it and, and marvel at it because hey, I was talking to a brother about this. You might be an emerald cut diamond. You might be a princess cut. It's, yeah. it's the same diamond. But the Lord is fashioned as him. he feels, I want this shape that way. Yeah. So what's your process to go in to get to that point? It yeah. might be different. Yeah, that's right. right. And, right. and that's, that goes all the way back to the to the to um, to what I was saying earlier. That's why you, you put the honor yes. to the brotherhood. Yes. Right. You just appreciate the cut, man. Right. You know what? Like, you know what, man? I, 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 like, I, I like how this brother teaches. I, I, I love this brother's sincerity. I love this brother's effort. I love his humility. I love his faith. I love what he brings to the jury shop, man. He's a he's a when I when I think about brothers in my mind, this is how my mind thinks. I think about a precious piece of jury. Yeah. You know, I I don't know nobody like these brothers. So when I get around, no, I and brothers know how I am. This is off camera. I'm just you know using it as an example. But these brothers are the same way. Yeah. Off camera, I treat everybody delicately. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you don't know. Right. You just appreciate what your how about Shemal was shot was sculpting and molding right before your eyes. You see a brother that comes in and he may have certain worldly things tugging at him and pulling at him. You can see, you can see the draw sometimes. Yeah. After a while, when you start to see Jake coming to the truth, you can see the draws. That's right. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. But through the process of refinery. And, and dedication, you see this brother showing up every week. Then you begin to see, like, wow, he's he's being cut, he's being molded, he's being polished and fashioned, and you start to appreciate the mold. Right. right. 
That's this is it's a spiritual jewelry shop, man. Yeah. Okay. So Rakan. Yep. Real quick, this is uh this is Malachi three and seventeen. Uh, I guess the point. It says, "And they shall be mine," saith the Lord, Yahweh Shaos. In that day, when I make up my jewels, Ooh, yeah, the Lord's jewels. <laughs> hey, man, you know one thing that really bothers a Jake outside of you fucking with his woman? <laughs> fucking with his jewels. All his jewels. All his money. That's why Jake's big up with his money. His jewelry, man. Snatching chains. Man, bro, I'm telling you, man. Don't do that. Jake, don't play about that shit, man. Real talk. I don't play about that shit, man. I can have a, I can have some fake shit on, man. You try to cover my shit. It's like, you know, it's like, hey man, you know, because it's a valuable, it's a valuable. It's a valuable. So imagine Esau conspiring all these wicked plans to try to kill you, man, and destroy you. But how do you think the Lord is gonna feel about his precious jewels that he's fashioned? Esau ain't, ain't help you get on no level in the truth. Right. Right. Esau ain't teach you shit. The mm -hmm. only thing Esau teach you is what not to fucking do. Right. Teach you. Yes. He teach you lies. And, 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 and he's not even teaching you lies because you're not learning from him. Okay? He's telling you lies, but but you're learning from the how about you how shot, man. Okay? So imagine Esau come in and try to kill brothers and persecute. What you think the owner, the owner of that jewelry shop is gonna do? Okay, you're gonna file an insurance claim. Yeah. He's gonna eat really, them high-end jewelry stores. And it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be big, big black blicked up men in the front, man. Man, they got that blicky mm -hmm. on them, man. Yeah, man. You know, oh, yeah. See, like we were saying, like, a lot of you other camps, like the brother said, man, y'all are y'all are middle of the mall jewelers. Yeah, yeah, middle of the mall. You know, <laughs> It's about a hundred, it's about a thousand dollars worth of shit in that case. You know, you know what I mean? Secure. But then you go to some places in Buckhead, you go to Bayers or Icebox. Hey. Oh, no, they got, they, there's some big niggas. Let's, some yeah, six, yeah, six, let's, take, it to, let's oh. take it to Dubai, man. In Dubai, you can't even go in certain places without getting your credit check. Yeah. Uh, so, you ain't got good no credit, you can't stand Why are you hey, coming and to And you know what? Why are you, you, why you thinking, how about you know I was shot? Don't allow everybody to become shot by the spiritual story. The Lord, right? the, Lord the Lord will just actually send food. Like we we in the wild open, but the Lord will actually just keep um keep these people going. The Lord don't even don't even want to grant access to a nigga and we in the plane. Don't want a nigga to look at it. Come on, hold on, hold on. Because this is precious. Go ahead. I have to bring this up. Yep. The Lord said this is Matthew 7 and 6. It says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Yep. Oh. Neither cast ye your pearls. Before swine, swine. Yep. Come on. lest they trample under their foot yep. and turn again and render you. Yo, yo, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I think Jake, Jake will go into certain shops and then they can come in and criticize him, man. How the hell you criticize yeah. him? You can't even afford it, man. Right, right. right. Jake will come in. Uh, you'll, see, I, you'll see certain Jake's right. going to certain places. Looking yeah. at it, talk yeah. shit. Trying to trying to talk down the price. And that goes to show you how impure these motherfuckers are. Going back to what you were saying, Bishop. And another thing I, I was hearing you saying is these these you know circumcised, circumcised, keep driving. Circumcised <laughs> will will take what they want from apostles and then establish their own things, right? Yep. And the word you're saying is they got enough, right? Yep. And then when they <laughs> don't have, when they need a re up, mm -hmm. they go back to the apostle Paul of one things. Because what? You brought out the word pure, and the word pure means total. Yep. Ooh. He has totally everything. Yep. Through yep. the yep. spirit, of course. That's right. So now you, you do have to go back to him yep. to rest. get the rest. And Still the thing is, the hey, there's going to come a point in time sources. where that jewelry store is going to be closed. Right. And, and yeah. what? the Lord is going to say, they're going to be like, uh, can, you, can you give us some of your oil? Yeah. And guess what? They're going to say, go yeah. to the sellers yeah. and buy it. Yeah. See? Yeah. See, right now it's open. Right. Yeah. It's open. Yeah, open, you know, focus. come, come, open come business right right now. Hey, we ain't holding back. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. When we do our videos, open to the our, our videos are open to whomever want to get it. If you don't want to get it, we don't. We really, we don't give a fuck. That's right. You know, we don't care. We don't want to understand what we're talking about. Right. You know, we we can give a, a good goddamn. Right. But you can come in and look. Right. Hey, a uh, member of Sakari can oh, he can look at your video. Right. He ain't gonna be like, why that nigga looking at my goddamn video, man? Yeah, I, I didn't do 
It's, it's here. I ain't gonna block it. Hey, the script, is, the, script is, the script is speak about uh, great with the company that published it. Hey, and then it's got clear windows. You can look inside. And yeah, look yeah. Inside. Hey, so yeah. you, you can come in. You can Windows walk in shopping. and look in the shit. In the case, go ahead. Yeah. You come in. What you, you see? I mean, are you are you convinced with the product? Hey, but then eventually you close your doors. Eventually you close your doors, man. I'm going to say it one more time. Eventually, you close your doors. And nobody can enter into that shop. Except if you're a thief. And we know what happens with thieves. And a lot of you are going to find yourselves as thieves. Because what's going to happen is when this thing hit the fan. And I'm making a relationship to a store right now. Every week, it's a different analogy. This week, it's a jury shop in the store. When you close that door, which eventually... This this store is gonna be closed down. Oh yeah. And, and 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 that closing is gonna come by way of the famine of the word. That's right. Once the famine of the word happened, a lot of you are gonna rescind your teachings and you're gonna to try to teach what we taught. Yep. Mm -hmm. Johnny come You're gonna try to act like you taught that the MOTB yep. was the micro was the yep. microchip. You're gonna act like you knew the Gentiles was this. You're gonna act like you knew the image of the beast was this, because the whole time. We've been window shopping. Window and you know what we're going to do? Shopping. Just like these jewelry stores do. <laughs> you know how they test that to see if it's real. They, they, they put that acid it. on it. Yep. That same yeah. thing we're doing. Yeah. Oh, nah. You get battle tested. You ain't been, you ain't been with it then. Hey, because you, 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 you uh, fake, man. A lot of a lot of these different companies, a lot of these different companies, the only reason that they're able to make imitation Jordan is because they seen what the real Jordan look like. Right. So with that, we're right. gonna go ahead and close it out. We, okay. We, we, did you want to close with that scripture you had, bro? Uh, yeah. No, we're gonna close. Yeah. Take the time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah, yeah. chapter eight and twenty. Yep. That's it. That's yep. It. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not. According to this word, <laughs> it is because it. there is no light right. in them. That's yep. right. So with that, that's and that's back on you. You know who we talking about because you like to use that scripture about Paul. Yeah, you know who we talking about, but that's back on you. So with that, we're gonna give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakapadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Love and respect starting with 144,000, then a one third. So the next time we say Shalom. Shalom. Yep, that brother, that man, first say his name. Sir. Oh, man.